Oh, my gosh, my gosh. Sorry, I... My headphones died. Oops. <sighs> Just chillin'. Just chillin'. There we go. There we go. Okay. Time for fun. Got a couple of dailies and chilling. Just gotta see what's going on. And just daily toast. Okay. I guess I'll also got some of these talent domains to run. Okay, we'll get a bunch of these for, for our own. This will be alright. Let's go in and beat up. Couple of avatars of lava. A few times because, again, free farming. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. <sighs> All right. And send you in. And the EM boost, that's good, but oh, not just the crit, not great. And thank you. And put you in. And shoot. And there we are. Cool. Luckily, I don't imagine that oh, overheating is going to be an issue this time, but we'll see. Given that I've fixed everything fan-related, hopefully. Okay. And again, put you in, though. Probably just use the first whenever we make sure access ends. Come on, I oh, okay. There we are. Missing with that was not so fun. And shoot, shoot, and I. Oh, come on. I need a little bit of healing. That's tough. Mm -hmm. That domain mission. Okay. So again, we'll just do that. And then probably. I could craft a few more, but the damage I'm taking is. Still higher than I would like. It's nice that pretty much the minimum you can get equates to about two of the gold books. It's still a lot of runs, but it's not horrible. Especially since the gold ones are honestly the limiting factor in the end. Because... 66 gold books is more than three times number of silver books you need to get to 999, which is 63. Hmm. Oh, well, alright. I'm just gonna- oh my! Just the wrong button there. Come on, and we just gotta stay away as much as possible, even with all the boosts. Even with all the HP, it's still pretty hard to hit. Oh! Died before the burst even came out. Totally wasted. Oops. <sighs> alright. Keep on hitting things. Well, I guess that did protect her from a little bit of the damage, I suppose. No, actually, that was more like one, two thirds, never mind. Whatever. Okay. And we will get Emily in there and bring down the missile and the burst and another over there. I. Oh, we just barely missed it that time. Oh well. Cool. Lonnie well, needs some health, so maybe I'll just skip putting her in this time. Just send in Kinich. Alright. And... Yeah, we need 66 gold books, 63 silver books, and 9 bronze books. Bronze books for Kinich to max out, and... Thank you, and shoot. And shoot, we can... Sure, and I... 
Do it again. That had its limitations. And there we are. Thank you. And projectile stayed on even after the avatar died. Which, honestly, I'm not sure why I expected them to immediately disappear. It's not like they were connected to it. Hmm. Alright. Either way. So I'm done with kindling books. I can move on to more of the it's kindling conflict and what's the other one again books uh goodness the uh, not praxis not praxis Con no that's conflict this is contention contention and conflict are different enough apparently that they can have different books also, that Spiral Abyss reward is the new feature that lets you skip 4s, 9 through 10, if you feel like it. Dang. But, that's no fun for me. Alright. Let's go craft up all these kindling books. As many as we can. Thank you. And we didn't get much in the way of bonus, sadly. How many do we- oh, nice! Got enough of those, that's only about a fourth of the way there. Okay. Hmm. Go and run that domain a few more times and then back to work on the quest line. That'll be nice. Yep, and that's the resin for today. Hmm. Chaska and Oromoton both need Saurian teeth as their material, which Next version, there's going to be a Saurian local legend finally, but I haven't had one yet, and every character release in these patches so far has needed new mats, which is not how fun game to things. Because Linny used the clue mats in that first version. It wasn't all that bad in comparison. Then it... From that on... Let me just check, and then of course they put out Wii Wii characters, and then she already used Spectre Mats, and she was, even though she was kind of sort of Fontaine. So Nubia and Rathesley both used Mats from that version, Furina and Charlotte did too, and then... What did Shavros also used Gears, so... Chevy, Chevy... Chevy used Gears, and Navi used Crystals, and then it was... Clutter Tandry scrolls and gaming used. I think it was treasure hoarder mats. No, it's slime mats, even better. And then sure use Spectre mats. Arla used Was it Fatui? I Yeah, she also used Fatui mats. Then we had Remember. It is interesting that also reduced, even since Inazuma, the kinds of Fitui enemies who drop the base Fitui mats. Because originally you had agents in the Fitui mages, Sis and mages doing it too, but then they started putting up mirror maidens who just drop their prisms. From then on, they've kept those emblems limited to skirmishers and agents and Sis and mages. It is interesting that we haven't gotten any other element of agent either. It'd be funny if they gave us a dendro agent or something. Especially given that we've got no Dendro Skirmisher. It'd be funny to think of what a Dendro Skirmisher would even do. Okay. And... Fight. And... Hit. Thank you. Oh, and now we're starting to get the damage in. Um, Milani. And that did kill them both. Nice. Oh, those lovely night soul bursts. Okay. Said Shuanen, since they're three, two Dendro, one Geo on the party, not enough crystallizable, would not be able to trigger an extra night soul burst by maxing out her points. Oh well. And one. We'll do it. Through that, we should probably put you in. Boy, death. And I, I don't think that hit anybody. Oh well. Okay. Cool. And oh my goodness, don't like this at all. Couldn't hit. Oops, not good. Okay, 
Wins. Where are you? And I. Mm, goodness. And one more fight. That killed, thankfully. Hmm. Wonder if. Be able to keep Milani alive long enough next run. Because in the end, Emily would work okay enough. Just take the remaining one out. That's what I did back when I first said no. I had Kira in there with Shred Dendro, but other than that, not much was going on. You know, I could. I should have been using her for healing. That's right. I didn't even really think about that. Okay. And I. Oh, but. Wait, what? That is... Oh, that's right. She doesn't even get the healing unless you've got two crystallizable. That's why I wasn't using it. I forgot that I actually I had actually been making the right choice. Oops, okay. Well, let's bring them back to life. Alright. Dailies. And then we... Can do at least the rest of the first Archon quest. Tomorrow will be second. Then, yeah. How to make friends. I wonder what the achievement for that one is. Hmm. Here we are. Well, I could have just teleported here then, I suppose. Alright. Thank you. Send in Sheila in. Good stuff. And hello. Cool, and... Oh, right, you can move in any direction you like with Ocelot form. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. And it's not like we're really using the movement ability here, but... Still. Children of Echo stuff, I suppose. Thank you. Switch back just so we can get the extra little bit from the transmission. There we are. Keep on running, and I... If you move quickly, you can avoid... Well, you can't avoid it, but... Oh, well... Never mind, rest in peace. Yeah... So the funny thing about that is... It actually makes having the character that type of disadvantage there. Because then the crystals automatically explode when you're near in a way that they wouldn't otherwise. Oops. Sorry. And so, take down the towers, decent enough. I think this team will work well enough for any kind of- Oh, right, right, Dia, Dia in the party. Normally, normally, we need someone to apply burning. Someone to apply pyro for either of the characters here. Okay. I do really like the whole not on design conceit of all the characters, no actual pyro characters yet, at all, but pretty much all the characters come out that have come out work well with pyro. It's a very interesting way to make pyro cool and look good again. No, to be fair, it was never bad. Instead of just directly power creeping pyro characters that exist, but increasing power to value to other pyro characters. And... Here we are. And... Okay. That's the end of that. And how many more? How many more? Mm. That fight, and then the one that's actually a bit of a quest. Okay. Either way, I do wonder... <sighs> now we get the healing from Shulanen, because we have Dia in here instead of Emily. What I wonder is... Oh... Do I wonder... It's not about someone's damage. I guess just how good... Ufwika is going to be considering that rumor state that she's going to function like just... Quote unquote Dia Pro Max. Whatever that's going to mean in context. Right, and we just got to set everyone through. Everyone's got one for play. And got fire on you now. Good stuff. Cool. Thank you. Good. Multi target. And I do wonder what the achievement here is going to be. 
going to get a new version of this quest, given that we waited for the treasure hoarders to give their dialogue last time. Yeah. Or what? Oh well. Meet again. No, then what do you say to lend me a hand, just like last time? Those treasure hoarders never wanted to listen to me. If we them be, they'll only be emboldened and continue doing evil. They'll only give source to save for now, but he's still a young one. He still needs more care. Let's go teach those treasure hoarders a lesson. No problem. There's unrepentant treasure hoarders. Just set up a new camp. I've marked it out. Pay based on adventure skilled rules. Let's go go, shall we? Okay, so... But it's still the same place as before. Do you want to see what'll happen if... You legitimately just wait. This is the treasure hoarders camp. Come on, time to teach them a lesson. Do again, I told you before. We just want to pet that little Saurian. But now if you really think I can't see the rope in your hand. And, come on bro, we brought this from your tribe. It's for bungee jumping. Again, what if I just... Hey, stop hitting me, please. I'm going, I'm going. What if we just... Will they run away or start cooperating if we just wait long enough? Keep getting this commission, and presumably that means there's some kind of achievement related. Oh, there's some kind of stick here that can be hit. I uh, maybe it's showing up under elemental sight. Hmm. Can I pull it? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Nothing there, nothing here. Well, I guess not. Hmm. Well, no. So I imagine that it's got to be something about that. Can we pull it out if we approach it? The main thing is, it's showing up under elemental sight. It's got to be something with it. If I go far away enough, they will de-aggro. I wonder if I can sneak up and try to do something to... that pole. Hmm, well... They've started ignoring us now, so... Let's try that again. Hmm... Answer is... Again, what if I interact? We can walk up. Slowly but surely. And... But again, it... Got this weird pole in the ground. And I... Maybe it just shows up to mark their camp during this quest. It's not... Anything, it seems. Okay. Alright. Uh, well, okay. And we got you in here, and another shot. Hmm. Maybe it's something after the quest? Hmm, let's see them dare to hurt my little Yimpy source ever again. Eh, feels like there's been some sort of misunderstanding. Don't listen to their pretty words. But I saw them tie rope to that poor Yimpy source's wings with my own eyes. Who knows what might have happened if I hadn't shown up when I had. Thanks for your aid. In any case, here's your payment. It's just a shame they fought so fast. If we caught them, we could put an end to their troublemaking once and for all. Again, I wonder... This is here now. Anything I can do to it? It doesn't seem so. I wonder what the trick here is. So they're in achievement. And... Oh, it's just if you choose to convert the Yumka source three times. Okay. Okay. All right. There's our answer. You know, I feel like I should have tried something different instead of just fighting again and again and again. Okay. Then in that case, put this down. Oh, right. I could go and get some stuff from that green obsidian ring. Probably should. Check that before I forget about it. Hmm. I think crystal fly trap down again. Deploy that. Fill it up with normal crystals. Okay. One's any the fewest of now. So. So. Hmm. Just think. How do I want to? 
I recall correctly, the spot was over here. Just go down into the secret repository. I presume that'll give some kind of achievement. At least the first time I do one of those. I see. And down in here. Oh, and yeah, Parak, it was right there too. Okay. Yeah, so it would naturally... The icon on the map would lead you here. Is green obsidian ring one to remove the barrier of the tribe? An obsidian ring with engraved patterns, not like those of the sounds of the canopy. It was an ancient medium by which the tribe established contact with the deep night. Perhaps its strength and allowed to cross the boundary between this place and a certain other location. And no achievement yet. Oh, but... Lots and lots of... Artifacts. Oh, okay. Most of them are just... Five-star obsidian codex and Cinder City pieces. That's actually really nice, then. Interesting. Oh, but... I have barely enough space for that. And... Could check the new ones, I suppose. That's cool, because it allows you to get at least a full set. Not necessarily a good one. Just by exploring. Ah, that's an interesting idea. Then we get one sanctifying elixir, and it's got a special icon. Just like when you can find a weapon. Which, to be fair, the only time that was really meaningful was Snow Tomb Star Silver. Okay, and no special. No special achievement for that, but we got good stuff. I suppose. Let me filter that and check our new pieces. That's new and oh, pyro damage bonus. That should be good. Uh, uh, not bad. It honestly, it's better for Milani than could be better for Milani than the piece we have right now. I just can't really afford to throw much of anything away yet. Till we know all the characters who will end up using these sets. Hmm. And... Well, a lot of these. Let's see which one we might want for Aura Ruin eventually. I can't even tell which one is the new one because there's so many of these that are just sitting. Yeah, oh, Fizz damage bonus. I can't imagine they'll be useful eventually at all. The fun thing is that originally... Could be good. Originally during beta, Cinder City actually gave physical damage bonus to whenever any reaction happened, not just the two elements involved in the reaction. Also, Boom Course count as Dendro. For that purpose too. Okay, moment of truth is the game gonna overheat now. I hope not. Should be good. There's a lot of hot air behind the computer, but... Let me just check my core temperature. Is this... Single cutscene has crashed... Crashed my PC multiple times on stream. See, and it's... Taken up a bit, but not... Too much. We'll see. In all my ears, seriously, this channel is the situation not perfectly clear. I've got to have your soldiers or own use it. Why did you help the captain? I want the truth this time. Da da da. Oh, no answer. I think you're being smart. Then let me ask a different question. What does the captain want? What is his purpose in not lying? Da da da. Really? You're just gonna stonewall me? Da da da. I could have just. maybe. should start getting bulls of ice water again. Looks like Oron has no intention of answering her. Just use her brain for a second. What do you possibly stand to gain by helping the captain? Only endless trouble awaits you and everyone in the tribe. You've always been a good kid. Why do you throw all that away now? If you're worried about something, just talk to me. Granny would much rather we had a conversation instead of constantly clashing like this. You know, if this crashes things, I'm getting a bowl of water. Either way, I'm getting a bowl of water tomorrow. Ta ta ta. Oh, why is he staring at us all of a sudden? Sorry that you have to hear all this. That's fine. Well, it's definitely a little awkward. You're very kind. Most people would have fled by now. Not everyone can handle Granny's scolding. Oh, you dare gossip between yourselves instead of listening to me, you. 
Very polite, but not necessarily grandma -y. Oh, sorry, sorry, Granny. I'm sorry, Granny. Uh -huh. Sorry, Granny. You know what? Fun. I'm perfectly aware that everything I say goes in one ear and out the other. You're all grown up now, so why would you listen to an old hag like me? You can hear a lot of cheering over there, so I would imagine... Some kind of fight breaking out, maybe? Not sure if that's normal, honestly. Big thing is... I feel like the reason that this crashed my PC a couple times, even though it was when... That rear cooling fan had actually become dislodged, and I did fix it last week. Because presumably it must have been loading something big. You say all the right things, but then you go and completely ignore me. Well, if that's how you're going to treat me, you can stop sending Aoife over to my place to deliver your stupid vegetables. I don't need anything from you. Who's Aoife, a delivery person? That's irrelevant. The point is, he hangs out with his kids, so it must be no good. See kids to a certain age and suddenly act like you know it all. There's nothing I can say to get through to you. Or well, if you're still thinking about that circle of duty, then please just forget about it. The Leylands did not fall to the state because of you, and we long quoted the book on that incident. Oh, right, this is about his backstory. Well, it seems they've started talking about some kind of travel history. Pumon's starting to get lost. That's not it, Granny, and now we can hear him echoing because the illusions come up. Oh, there's something off about that voice. I know you tend to get down on yourself when you're upset, but I can tell I really hurt you this time. All I can say is I'm sorry. His voice, Orvon, where have you gone? So it seems like, yeah. Either she can see through the illusion or at least knows that the voice indicates the illusion. It sounds like he's somewhere super far away, but isn't he here right in front of us? Nope. I'm really sorry. Yep, now I can hear him barely because he's far away. It's up to all of us to do everything we can to save not one, so I've got to go. Running away. He's just Anjo. Get back here this instant, Orvon. Oh, what is this? Powder from plant spores? Is that the trick he used? What just happened? How was he able to suddenly get so far away like that? It's a trick of his. If he grinds spores into a powder and spray it in the air, it can be manipulated to create an illusion. He pulled it off flawlessly. He must have put a lot of time into perfecting it. Don't tell me that's how he's been hunting in the fields these days. Couldn't he have picked up something more useful? Well, it was useful. You're just salty. Oh, little brat, that's it. The next time we meet, I'm definitely going to break his legs. Goodness. Honestly, given that apparently she's going to be a catalyst character based on dubious leaks, it'd be funny if she was like Hazo or Baiju or Thesley 3 at this point was just a punchy catalyst. It'd be funny. Though, to be fair, Yonsen is also going to be punchy with a full arm, so... Well, that's a little extreme, but still, why does he feel like he needs to run from us? If his goal is also to protect that one, then can't we work together? He still doesn't want to tell us anything about his goals. Da da da. I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation with him earlier, but even if you'd been able to hear them out, there's no guarantee you would have gained anything substantial. Oron probably did everything he could to get away because he knew I'd get the truth out of him sooner or later, that brat, I swear. See these little patterns in this. It's a little similar to some of the similar to the Ashgraven drinking horn, I think. It's a little occult, it seems. That shine. The captain probably has some sort of substantial plan. Otherwise, Oron would have no reason to keep following him. Meeting again is out of the cards for now, so it might be faster to just approach the Pyro Archon and confirm what the captain said. And also. I can tell that Oron's stubbornness has hurt Sitalwin deeply. I need to find a way to comfort her. What was all that about Oron's duty earlier? Dot dot dot. We've got quite a walk. A long walk back to the city. Let's take our time. That'll give me a moment to figure out how to explain all this. Hmm. Come on. Oh, return to the stadium. It's the message from before. Yeah. Free to meet him alone. Already did that. And, let me see, now we'll navigate, and we can use some of the, no, there aren't gravel points here anymore, that's right. Okay, and she wasn't going down. Well, okay. Let's run the rest of the way. Thank you. And, get a little bit more focused in, or not. Okay. 
and tell me the rest of that story? Do you have some time? Feeling hungry? How about we get something to eat? Oh, is this where she gets drunk? Alright, it's been a while since we last ate. Now that we can relax, Pama just realized how hungry she is. Well, let's go, we can find somewhere to sit down and talk. We can drink some me. It's okay, we can cover our own bill. pama has got a secret food fund so she can do the honors. Huh, how did this become Pamela's bill? Dot dot dot. Oh, so Tala looks quite down on herself. Oh, so now it's... Now it's her problem. All right, all right, it's on Pamela this time. What's one mule to the best guidance for that? I wonder if that would have been mentioned if I'd chosen the other option then. So you can just sit back and enjoy Satoli. Pamela will take care of it. Wait. She sounded different that time. Wait, what? Uh, huh? Is she gonna remark on that? They did not remark on the voice change. Hey, come on now, you won't even let me take out, out for some food and drinks. I just want to treat you to a meal. Are you sure we can save you some more, huh? Um, is the least of my concerns, and why is that? Besides, we're definitely doing a meal after all the time we spent together. Let me get this one, I might be an old hag, but I like to think I'm not completely useless. Sure, that's fine with us, but Paman doesn't want you to be sad, so Chloe. Ah, don't worry, I'm sure a juicy grilled steak will work wonders. Okay, go to the inn. To wonder if we've got any new description. No new description yet. Alright, just run over. And. It's still transmission in a second. Or not. And, okay. There we are. Enter the weary inn. Here we are. The three of you walk into a tavern and find a quiet spot to sit. What is this, the start of a D&D &D campaign? You and Palma order some food and fruit juice while Satoi begins chugging down bottle after bottle of wine. Yep, this is where she gets drunk. Da da da. Hmm, what are you looking at? Do you see two people standing by the door? They look like spitting images of each other. Are they twins? Oh, seeing double. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> but Paman only sees one person there. Oh, how could that be? I guess my mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. Get me other bottle boss. Oh no. Yeah, this is this is where you cut him off. Ah, oh, do you think she's drunk? I'd be surprised if she wasn't. There you go, miss. I got street bites. Chanka. Chaska at home. Well, it's not every day you see glass baba here. With some friends, not to mention once who made a huge name for themselves recently. Oh, so you've heard of us? Uh huh. Of course I have, aren't you the ones who saved Kachina and brought her back? No wonder you hit it off with Glass Baba. She wouldn't spend fun with just anybody, you know? So I don't even remember the last time I saw her with a new friend. That's what happens when you're 200 years old, I guess. Wait, so you call her Granny, too? Older than everybody. Well, given our ages, it'd probably be more accurate for me to call her my great-great-granny, huh? She's one of the most famous people in the Masters of the Nightwind. Most days, hardly anybody even dares to talk to her. Hmm, gossiping about me right in my face, are you Chanka? When are we gonna get the funny eyes? Because Granny, I wouldn't dare, I'm just being happy to see you bring over some new friends. After all, any friends of our regulars are sure to be great customers too. Oh, heavy drinker. Alright, that's enough going now. I'm sure other customers would like to talk to you as well. There's no need to keep staring at me. I promise I'll keep my alcohol, alcohol down until I leave. I promise is until after. <laughs> Or after. Uh -huh. well then you have my thanks. After Chanka leaves, the toilet downs a few more glasses and begins to stare blankly in a space from her chair. Oops. You start wondering whether she's actually drunk or working through some complex problem in her head. Oh. Dot, dot. There we got the funny eyes. Satoli, Satoli. Oh, who's that? You got some gal caught in by my first name. Let me guess. You want to test her skills or answer glass Baba, don't you? Oh, she just called her by her name there. Oh, are you still with us at all? You're kind of talking to no one. Dare moinai dokoro. To a place with no people. 
So you chumps come around in here picking fights with me? Well, you know what happens next. You lose, and then run up home to tell everyone about how I'm this big scary bully. It's always the same story. Grad started, I finish it, and then I end up with the reputation of being some kind of terrible monster among the shamans. I feel like she's going to be a punchy catalyst. Or a punchy something. I mean, come on, monster me, really? What did I do to deserve that? Rani Satali, you're not a monster at all. And exactly, and while we're at it, I'm not some lazy slacker either. Between meditation, devising the chief, and speaking with the Wyo, I actually have a pretty packed schedule, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, and I have to mentor after all the new kids. A new kid, yeah, you. And pointing at us. Who, me? Guess I'm a new kid. Not knowing that we're five billion years old or whatever. Don't play dumb, didn't I teach you how to find Flagiston? You see, I know my stuff, I'm a good teacher, you tell him. Absolutely, thanks for all your teachings, ma'am. Oh, goodness. Hmm, that's more like it. Not being dumb, something shows me a lot of respect. Yeah, grannies are hard to work for, right? I always rely on old granny. Hmm. Hey, that's the new game, right? Did she just fall asleep with her eyes open? No geez. Hmm. Behind this pitch black curtain, a chapter of hatred reveals itself behind the smoke, the lingering smoke. So does she get drunk to meditate? Interesting. Hmm. Oh, she's meditating again. She does this whenever she's had a few too many drinks. Mon's actually racing at this point. It's quite the opposite of sleep. Yep, exactly. Drunken meditation. Is this another specialty of the Masters of the Nightwind? No, just her. No, I'd say it's an ability that's unique to Satal yourself. While she can easily pick up everyone else's skills and tricks, you have been able to master hers. Oh, so if she's kind of a drunken master type, I do imagine she'd be punching. Warning, warning, red, the red color of danger has now arisen within that pair of eyes. Which eyes? Huh? Welcome back. What? Are you awake? Traveler, Paimon, I... What's wrong? Bad omens. I am gonna hurl a... <laughs> they voice acted that well. Oh, I like the gradient on that nail polish, actually. I didn't notice that. I'm gonna just keep it in. Ooh, okay, it's past. That was a close one. Probably still a bad idea. If Paman worried, Paman really thought you were about to barf all over the table just now. Don't think they could show that. Oh, how embarrassing. I'm sorry I didn't see me like that. It's never happened before, I swear. I've never thrown up, not once. I didn't ask about it before. Well... Sounds like a blatant lie. Are you feeling okay? I want to take a quick walk and get some fresh air. Da da da. There's so much that I want to say, but I can't... Spoil the prophecy by bringing it up now, or... Or not, of course you can. Just say whatever's on your mind. Please, Paimon, it's not as simple as you think. We've only known each other for a few days, right? What would you think of me if I were to start dumping all my complaints on you after we've only just met? Trauma down. No, oh, Paimon gets it. You're hoping that we wouldn't think less of you no matter what you're about to say. Oh, no, that wasn't my point at all. Seriously, don't you youngsters know anything about shame? Talking about shame, I lived all these years and still can't get rid of it. Surely you know the feeling, too. Um, actually, about that, she would just tell her. Oh, tell me what? Yeah, this is good a time as any about that plan. Or, alright, Satalali. Listen carefully and try not to get too upset. Describe the events that took place during Orwan's rescue as objectively, fairly, and impartially as possible. Satalali shared some of her senses with you through a spell, allowing you to temporarily hear her thoughts. Da da da. So you heard, you heard my. The voice of my heart. It's okay, Satalali, you had every right to complain about those things. I can't take it anymore. Why do these things happen to me? Hearing me mumble under my breath is one thing, but hearing what I mumble in my own head, that's too much. It's just like when you're rolling on the floor in your pajamas, but you forget to lock the door and someone bursts into all the cabbages and sees the whole thing. Can I see that Eva doodle now, or... So that, uh, happens to a lot? It happens to people in general, okay? It doesn't matter if you're 200 years old or 1,000 years old. Everyone rolls around in their pajamas sometimes. I was just picking something generic. Well... Absolute girl fail. 200 years old girl failure. 
Dot dot dot, are you gay? What did you act it? Take a walk with me, I have things to share with you about. Looks like she's completely given up, like those criminals who just confess everything and accept their fate. You should follow her just to make sure she doesn't do anything stupid. Oh? Oh, so to follow me to a different spot. What would that different spot be? Do we have a different quest description? No. Not yet. Okay. Let's go up here. And it's over where? Over here. I don't go around a lot of this stadium, really. I like that stop she does. Oh, great view, right? I love coming here by myself. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you for bringing us here. Uh huh, you're making me want to cry. Nakitai. Mm, oh no, what do we do? Please don't cry. Please don't cry for us. There's an expression okay, a figure of speech. I'm just embarrassed here. You are thanking me even after you helped me all this time. Let's just have a casual conversation. It's easiest that way. I'm gonna get the backstory drop. Really? You don't seem like the kind of person who keeps things casual. Well, I guess I used to be more of a stickler for the rules. And you're right, I don't usually open up to the people of my tribe like this. I'm just an eccentric old hag to them, but stories have been passed on so long, it might as well be true. But you're just a regular person. Two hundred year old regular person. <laughs> Ah, the kids in my tribe would have a heart attack if they heard you say that. Class Baba is a powerful figure, be careful around her, that's what they'd say. Well, you are powerful, are they afraid of you? Some or others are mad at us, come out on top, a few decades like that, and people stop knowing how to deal with you. What about you, are you scared of me? You don't find you scary at all, Paman's right. Is that clock good night? Absolutely not. Hmm, if that's because you're not from my tribe, you don't know how many delusions of grandeur I've destroyed just by existing. You make people realize that, no matter how hard they work, they'll never become a living legend like me. What about a local legend? Oh, well, not to brag or anything, maybe it's hard to believe, just, just pretend I never said anything. I believe you, Shilin, and has full faith in your abilities, and Orun didn't seem scared of you. Thinks of you as his granny, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, but Orun's a special case. She did raise him, basically. Mavuka already told me about her plan. You've given so much help to Orun and me, you deserve to learn the full truth. Orun's not like other people. As I mentioned, he was abandoned as a child. Tokobetsu, special person, basically. The reason being, his soul is incomplete. The masters of the night wind view this as a bad open omen, capable of bringing about illness and misfortune. No one knows who his parents were. What does that mean by incomplete soul, then? He was just left on a rock in the wilderness. It's a miracle he wasn't devoured by some wild beast. I wonder if that'll get revealed eventually or something, because that's very sort of... Greek hero. The masters of the night one believe they can see human souls, and in Oron's fragmented soul, they saw a possibility for not The possibility turned Oron into a vessel for lost souls. Maybe that's why she tried to look for them on us. The ceremony would allow lost souls to gather within him. Oron would then be sent to the night kingdom as and killed to return the souls to the rightful place. Strengthening the laylands and completing the ceremony. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Sending a living person to the Night Kingdom, wouldn't that just kill him? Well, yeah. Now you see the problem. When damage occurs to the Night Kingdom, my souls held within disperse and remain adrift. Unable to find a way back to the ley lines, this loss of souls damages the Night Kingdom even further. Does this correspond to a real spot? Except, the, like, the area around the stadium? I think it does. Mm -hmm. It's basically the souls themselves. Strengthening the ley lines, presumably, or the artificial ley lines. So the y ups are, if I recall correctly, basically collective spirits. The ceremony can send back countless souls at once, which would benefit the Night King and the souls themselves. Of course, the vessel Orion would be sacrificed in the process. I wasn't surprised that Chief at the time came up with a plan. The ley lines were already in a terrible state. Suitable candidate for the ceremony appears, and now you have a chance to make things better. Of course you're going to take it. When the chief asked for my opinion, I didn't give my approval, but I didn't object either. So they went ahead with the ceremony, it failed, and Oron escaped with his life. 
pathetic, isn't it, by not objecting? Basically gave them the go-ahead. Maybe they didn't have my explicit approval, but it's not like I did the right thing. If the ceremony was successful, or Rome would probably be dead. Of course, in my tribe, death is rarely something to fear, but what kind of message would it be sending by sentencing a newborn to death? Using a human life as a tool? It's not right, so when I won the ceremony had failed, I was ashamed by an action and absolutely relieved by the result. The plan was never a secret, or I guess I should say, there was no point to keeping it a secret. A simple investigation from Ororon would reveal everything. Everyone thought he would be happy he survived, and he never really said anything to the contrary. But just as I was about to put all of it behind me, he asked this question would not let him been saved if the ceremony succeeded. Wait, but it's not his fault. He knows that, but he still feels guilty. Oron has a strong ability to perceive souls. More than any of us, he understands how dire the situation the Leilans has become. Maybe he chose to work for Fatui because he still thinks he owes a debt to Naron. I can only imagine what they told him. Trevor, didn't the captain say? He found a way to solve the crisis. Maybe that's what brought Oron into this. Anyway, we can't just let things go on like this. We have to convince him to come back. Yeah, that should be our next step. Oh, well, you don't look so good so tall. You maybe should head back and get some sleep. Probably drank too much. It's okay. The fresh air is doing me good. Barf. Okay, forget that. I need to go home. I hit it a little too hard. Don't worry. You don't have to do any of this alone. Bit too much of the sauce. You've helped me so much already. I will even begin to thank you. Hey, we're friends, aren't we? Besides, you already said you owe us a favor, so you don't need to worry about us. Good point. Well, I'll go home and get some sleep. We can figure out our next move in the morning. And that's relatively close, just west of here, but not accessible to us yet. Friends? Huh, oh, I like the sound of that. Okay. Still not as good as the far zone link. Okay. Oron's probably back with the captain, don't you think? Yeah, we should tell the pirate arc on what we learned. I mean, about the backup plan, do you really believe what the captain told us? She needs to know regardless, we should just be upfront with her. Yeah, you're right, we should just go to her directly. But she's probably asleep, we can find her first thing in the morning. For now, let's yawn, go to bed. Okay, and wait till tomorrow. The sacrifice not offered, find out Oron's story, presumably. The flickering white splits in twain, return to the inn to rest. The abyss is invading, and the situation grows dire. Everyone has their mission, and here and now... Decide if we speak to Malvika about the key information you obtained. Oh, it's actually invading. Not good. First, honestly, I want to see if I can get up into that balloon. Which is going to become relevant soon, too. Alright. Let's grab up here and... Thank you. Hit end. There we are. We can put in Shuan in now. And I just want to check out. Alright. Thank you. We'll Ocelot form our way up. And. Doesn't take too much, honestly. And up here is just a luxurious chest. Not bad, though. Thank you. Mm. That achievement. Just what is he searching for? What is Oron searching for? What is he searching for, Oron? I... Let's... Oh, interesting. I... Huh? Oh, because I don't have any full guess. That's right. Maybe I am stupid. And let's get up here and... What if I try to get into that hot air balloon? That hole actually is important there. And in this sacred fame balloon. And oh, it does actually burn me. I didn't expect that. Okay, and can I climb up here? And can I get up this way? I can. Let's get to the top of this balloon. Somehow. I... Hmm. I feel like Sheila and it would do a good job of this. I. Never mind. Come on. Thank you. Using a single grapple and then switching to Sheila once I've 
and should cling to the board would probably be the best way to do this. I... Huh? Never mind. Come on. And... Can I can climb up that. I cannot get around there. Yeah, that worked. Okay. A little clumsy, but we can get to top of the balloon. Let's go get our full Giston back, at least. So there's nothing on top of the balloon, I imagine, but it'll probably disappear once we use it for the quest, then. Alright. And... Thank you. Just mod a few of these for... Daily. And... Smack. There we go. Thank you. Hmm. Mind that. And go inside here. Thank you. Back to the inn. Which is over this way. Let's run down. Close enough. And... Just jump it. Thank you. Cool. Let's figure out what happens next. Oh. Still Hydro. Why is it so noisy outside? Pumpkin still have a sleep because the abyss is invading. Presumably. Well, I guess we should we should excuse me see what's going on. Yep, the abyss is invading, and the situation grows dire. Everyone has their mission, and here and now, you decide to feast for speak to Mob. Good luck, key information you've obtained. All right. Guess things are gonna get bad now. Or there you are. Music, happy music is gone. Oh, you're already here. I was just about to come get you. Oh, you're up early. That's impressive, especially after all the drinking last night. Drink a lot of water, huh? Let's not bring up last night. I'm embarrassed about the whole thing. Anyway, I was also woken up by the commotion. Looks like all the warriors from the stadium are on the move. Can't imagine that'd be for a good reason. It's cool how you can still hear their footfall sounds even when they're out of frame, because it's not like they just disappeared. I've heard many areas have been attacked by the Abyss, including the Masters of the Nightwind. I need to head back right away. The Abyss attacked again? Are you sure you can handle it on your own? Do you need our help? I'll be fine. We also have the support of the warrior station at various outposts. Given the quick response, things shouldn't get too serious. Well, the stadium could also use more manpower, so you should join the forces here. What about Oro? I'm done making excuses for him. He's not a child anymore. He needs to take responsibility for his actions. I was the one who vouched for him, so I need to report back to the speaker's chamber. I'll accept however they choose to handle the situation. But I should be able to convince him to let me go back to my tribe first to deal with the attack. As for the ancient name, once I handle this, we handle this quest, I'll talk to Shu on it right away. Don't worry, I never forget a promise to a friend. Be careful, I'll keep an eye out for Ororone as well. Thank you, alright, I need to start heading back. There we go. Shu up in a hurry, this situation must be really serious. Looks like a lot of people are headed to the stadium, let's see what's going on. Nothing good. Go to the stadium. And, oh goodness. Oh, there's Chuiku, Yansan, Milani, and Shaska. Traveler over here, perfect, our star outlander has appeared. Oh? Oh, you're all here, but oh, what's with the whole star outlander thing? Mavuka trying to get us to fight? It's my way of saying how awesome you are. We've got a real emergency on our hands, so this is the perfect time for you to show off your skills. Alright, can we get a quick rundown of the situation first? The Abyss suddenly attacked the Collective of Plenty, the Masters of the Nightwing, the Children of the Echoes, and a number of Arkansas and Outposts in the Wild. And of course, two of those are not, are not accessible right now. But once, yes, and the attacks are increasing in frequency. The Tribes of Plenty have defenses, so they're safe for now, but I can't say the same for the Avengers and Merchants stuck in the Wild. But why is Chaska... What does she have those pointy ears? I presume we'll find out next, ver next version. Chaska and I, well, Big Sister and I, have been searching for survivors and treating the wounded. We just got back, but we need to head out again soon. That tattoo makes it look like abs. I plan on heading back to the Collective of Plenty just in case my tribe needs me. 
do wonder what her kid's gonna be like with those punches. I would imagine she has to be a main DPS, but... What about you, Mawani? Where are you gonna go? I'll go help the children. The Echoes, they're the closest, so I can start fighting right away. Mm. What about you guys? We could go together. I need to talk to the Pyrarchon first. I wonder a few things from the captain. Are you going to help Kachina's people, too? Yeah, that does sound important. And some worries over by Mavica. No worries, this will leave the children of Echoes to us. Huh, who knows? Maybe yours truly will have the Abyss on the run by the time you're finished. She's gonna die. That would be perfect. Pretty great, actually. I hope my tribe gets through okay. It'll be fine. Your truck doesn't do all that bodybuilding for nothing. Kiniku. Muscle. Let's part ways here for now, and most importantly, be careful with everyone. No one's not listening to avoid getting contaminated by dangerous looking substances. That will make my job a lot easier. Kiniku, do we have to do this now? Ha ha ha, it's alright. She's just looking out for everyone. Alright, let's hurry up and talk to the Power Archon so we can help the others. And... already gone. Oh, I can see Pylon disappear back there, too. I... If I went over here, nothing is going to be happening. I... I would almost say the sky looks a bit different, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't, actually. Yeah, you know... <laughs> Children of Echoes getting attacked my my ass. Nothing is happening here. Guess in the meantime I could see if I can can I nab that Hieroculus right here. No, we just <clears throat> barely miss it. Guess I could do another job. Uh but we're not in the right spot. Okay. That's fine. Interesting. Yeah, I guess we gotta go talk. Oh well. Right over there. Oh, and we're closer now. Oh well. Yeah, on the other side of that door. Okay. And... <clears throat> oh, it's you too. As you can see, things are not looking good right now. People across Nalan are in danger. Look, I'm very interested in your recent adventures, but this is not a good time, so we'll have to keep our conversation short. That's alright, we're also in a hurry. We're gonna go help the children that echoes after this. We met the captain. Nani? What? You tell Mavuka about your brief meeting with the Captain Oron, and why is... For a second I thought it froze, but no, this wasn't a prompt. So he thinks my plan is too risky, he thinks I'm being stubborn, well is it true? Can the just do what he said? <coughs> I shouldn't underestimate the Fatui's ability to gather intelligence, and Nosis does have that function, but there's more to the story. But what is that function? I will answer you honestly, but you must help me keep this a secret. I can use the power of the Gnosis to save not one, but it comes at a heavy price. Her life. The Gnosis would drain all the souls and members from the Night Kingdom and weave them into a giant net, which would surround the Leilans and protect them against abyssal corrosion. Oh, but that's interesting, because the Gnosis specifically is linked to the Night Kingdom, and presumably it's because... Shabalanka used the Gnosis to basically set the rules of not one with the help of the Shade of Death. Wait, you can use souls to the net, but does that mean? Yes, it means sacrificing those souls in the process. Souls are just another form of life. The cruelty of this method is self-evident. The Night Kingdom not only houses the souls of the dead, but also our members in the legends. Using the Gnosis means converting all three into material from the net, erasing our history and culture. And then the net can still become corroded if we cannot find a way to repair her. the damaged ley lines before that happens, then all those sacrifices are for nothing. So the only reason the Abyss is really a problem here is because the ley lines are weak in the first place. Given the enormity of the price, it's a solution I refuse to consider right now. I want us to win, but I also care about how we win and what that means for us in the end. Now it's true, both plans come at a risk, but after weighing our options, this is our best bet. I'm surprised the Gnosis has this function, it doesn't sound like something an Archon would do. Well, not one is abnormal. 
Yep, not one is unique among the nations of Tibet. Given the overwhelming threat of the Abyss, the Power Orkons had to account for the worst case scenario. Having a contingency plan is our duty not just to the people of Nutlan, but to all who live on this continent. Still, this has always been a well-kept secret. I'm very curious how the captain learned this information. Oh, one more thing. The captain said he found another way to solve the problem could be equally as extreme, though. Without the Gnosis, he should have no other option, but I see no reason for him to lie. Seems like our only path forward is to track him down, so I can answer that question for us. The Pyro Archon just shared an important secret with us. Oh, when the Pyro Archon shares the secret with us. Oh! A pilgrimage for a wish, a battle to earn a name. Oh, oh, okay. She seems sincere, figuring out the captain suppose a new way of saving not one is the key. Hmm. When the Pyro Archon shares the secret with the Traveler, that's Travail Trailer stuff, right? Let me see. That... The rules of war are woven in the wound. The victor shall burn bright while the losers must turn to ash. When the god of war shares the secret with the travelers because she has her reasons. But it's not... But it's this secret, right? But it's... The two are not necessarily the same, right? Right? Well... Hmm. Let me see. Okay. New way of saving Natlan. Track him down. Judging by her expression, Sonokao, that face, you must have doubted me, even if for just for a second, maybe a little. Not even a little, we would never wait. What are you talking about, traveler? What are you saying? Hmm. Well, I just as expected, I appreciate your sincerity. Maybe it was out of caution, anxiety, or simple curiosity, but know this, no matter what, our goal remains the same. We both want to save the people of this land. Hmm. But given that he would have been here for almost a year already, according to New Vienne, the question is, doing what, I suppose? Getting Oron to work for him? So now that you have your answer, do you still doubt me? Not at all. If you scared Paimon, you've really got a lot of guts, Traveler. Because he's that's all, scared me, that's a good thing. One feel free to call me Mavlika, that's what all my friends call me, and I like it that way. Mm. As for the captain, the intelligence officers will be assigned to the patrol, should be back soon. We'll get our answers then. That's great, sounds like we just have to wait a little longer, or the current attack's the beginning of a real disaster. Not just yet. Even though the Abyss is attacking several locations at once, I'm confident the warriors stationed in those areas can handle it. Don't worry, I just need to finish coordinating our available manpower, and I'll take a small team to handle the difficult locations. Small team. Wait, you're going to fight in person? Didn't you give up your power? That's true, I'm far less powerful than a god in my current state, but don't forget, I was an experienced and powerful warrior before I ever became the Pyro Archon. I wonder if she had a vision previously or whatever. No matter how you look at it, my duty is on the front lines. I'm sure an inspiration all the war your warriors. Sure you're not stretching yourself too thin. Let's be nice, I guess. In a different kind of way, now you, now you doubt my strength out of its travel. You had time to spar, you might think otherwise. Anyway, even if we respond to these threats in time, it's not a permanent solution in the long run. I considered moving my people to other nations, but given their close connection to the Night Kingdom, a forced evacuation would have devastating consequences. Yeah, no full gifts either. I've told the chiefs of each tribe to strengthen their defenses and advise people against leaving their settlements. Now I just need to find the right time to disclose the true nature of this crisis to the people of Nautlan. Paimon's a little worried about how people will react. I think a lot of people will join the fight. 
Yes, but that won't be the only response. In any case, that's for me to worry about. I'll let you know when we have more information on the captain. Right, we should head out. Maybe we can join up with Moadi. She can't be too far ahead. Now let's go. Stay safe, Mavika. Hey, no need to worry about me. Okay. And go to the Children of Echoes. And they're all the way over there, so... Only a teleport makes sense. And oh, all the way back there. I think that starting over this way would make more sense. And... Let's see what's going on here. Okay. A little faster. And... That's where we stop. If I teleported in any other place, it probably... Teleport us here anyway. Quick over here to safety. Oh. It's destroyed then. But you know how many people do you have left? They've all made it out. She's helping out too, yeah. It's Traveler and Pama, they're here. What's the situation? There's a trapped caravan that needs our help. We need to rescue them as soon as possible. We'll go together. Ah, and yep, another shoe in an appearance. I'm coming too. Okay. Go to assist the caravan. I would use Kachina here, except... Eh, it's not like we really need to. Especially since... Pff, this team wouldn't be able to do much of anything without... Uh, if I had Kachina up. Okay. Just roller skate our way over and... Oh, another one of those abyssials. Nice. Oh. Destroyed the abyssal pile once they say we got this. Oh, and it's a full trial team. Interesting. But we still got the shield and healing. Interesting. Alright, and... Still no bless and no Cinder City. This is actually ridiculous. Aye, that means we don't have to crystallize them. Prioritize the Abyssal Pylon that surrounds monsters. And... One, two... And hit. Thanks. Put this down, and... There we go. Nice snack. Right, because we got the pawns. That's right. Okay. And... How many more? Ah, okay. Let's... Prioritize the Pylon, and... Let's see how many monsters are actually going to show up here. Four. And to be fair, she does have extra damage from those cons. What's the night soul and increased interruption resistance? Oh, we got that bonus too, right? Damage up. Then the max HP. Okay, cool. And well, we can just have her cut it off. That's right. Yeah, just to sort of buy one. Okay. I really thought it was done for. This will pile on. Is that weaker to Night Soul? I. Tenebrous Mimiflora. Elemental, yep, and Night Soul is better, right? So actually, Shunan's E would be best, I would think. Given that. She can stay in that skill state and keep dealing that skill damage as opposed to Milani, who her normals are not Night Soul. Mm. And notable. Okay. Let's look at the characters on the wiki real quick. When I pulled up info on the pile and it should Capitano under characters. Todar, I really thought it was done for. Oh, a Sumter Beast, you're right, because it's right by Samaru. Can't thank you enough. Don't worry about it. We're just glad you're okay. Let's see. Your goods look fine, too. Guess the Abyss isn't after Mora. Yeah, well, of course. That should be the last Abyssal Pile under the Children of Echoes. Phew, that was scary, but we did it. Rift Hounds, and then the Mimics, which, again, Abyssal Mimiflora. By the way, we're so I thought she would come with you. The Masters of the Nightwind also got a text, so she went back to help her tribe. She says we can do, said we can deal with the Ancient Aim later. It makes sense. The attacks are more urgent. All right, this isn't a good place to talk. Let's head back to the tribe. The flickering light splits in twain. Return to the Children of Echoes. That is not too far away. Okay. Why do you do this? Keep this up. Almost perpetually. Almost. 
Now we can do Night Soul Transmission when we're almost out, or actually, given that the boundary that locks us into the cutscene is a lot bigger than that marker's distance would suggest. Looks like a few people were hurt after all, so I should have gotten here sooner. The abyss threw a lot of us at us at once. I rushed out as soon as I heard the alarm, and there were already so many monsters. For one, Kachina brought over a whole group of warriors, and just like that, we destroyed several pylons as a team. Finally, doing her thing. I wasn't in charge or anything, we just happened to be together. Still, I think this proves that camping in the wild it was a great idea. That's how we were able to respond so fast. Sleeping on the wet grass was pretty uncomfortable, but it was worth it. I don't mean to be negative, but the situation is not within your own. I mean, the situation in the Night Kingdom, right? I feel the same way. We've managed to keep it a secret all this time, but more and more people are realizing something's wrong. It's impossible not to feel anxious when things are getting worse by the second. And all we can do is to wait. And we still don't know when the final two heroes are going to appear. That just means we need to buy the Pyro Archon more time. Keep pushing everyone, every battle is worth something. Mm. You really are an eternal optimist, Milani. You always find a way to cheer people up. I think thank you. Yeah, I guess it's one of my better qualities. What a few things you should know. Share the captain's intel on another plan. So specific aside, the Power Archon confirmed that the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. And somehow the captain finds out about it, goes to fight the Power Archon, and calls her out for having a solution but refusing to use it. Honestly, if he has the same information as us, I can't really blame him. <laughs> now they're Capitano glazing too. It's probably because our plan is so risky, we don't even know if the six heroes will reunite in time. Mm -hmm. I feel like a playable Capitano needs a basic additional costume that just toggles the helmet if he's got a face option. I don't know. It'd be funny if he was kind of an anti fremine or anti Zhao or something and took off his mask when he was in burst or something. <laughs> We talked to Malvika before we left the stadium. According to her, the cost of the captain's plan is too high. And well, it makes sense. If that was truly the better choice, she would have picked it. Yeah, I trust the Pyro Orcon. When I was upset about Kachina's disappearance, she was really sincere and patient with me. Plus, she burned down all those precious mementos for Kachina. She's already proven how much she values even a single person's life. When it comes to not one survival, there's no way she would hold back. I agree, maybe the captain with the constant came to his own conclusion, but I'm sure we have different priorities. Life is important, but so are history and memory. I'm on Mavrika's side, too. It'd be funny if they let us choose, especially since it wouldn't make a difference in the wouldn't make a difference in the end. As the Archon, she can't tell us everything, but it seemed like she wasn't holding anything back this time. The next question is, if the captain found a new way to save not one, how come the Pyro Archon has never heard of it? Yeah, and isn't he from Sesnaya? Why would the Fatui want to save not one? Well, because they're not really the bad guys. Oh, this is all super confusing. Hmm. We still don't have enough information. Once we figure out what the Fatui are doing, we'll have our answer. Let's head back then. Malvo gets said her intelligence officer should return soon. How many Fatui they are? Someone's bound to give something away. Sounds good. I have a few theories of my own with a bit more information. You just might get to the bottom of the whole thing. Did you want our garrison, Milani? I was just about to ask, count me in. If I was just a bit faster, we could have prevented a few people from getting hurt. People who could help us in the next battle, it's all a chain reaction. Reaction? Then they should go register right away. It shouldn't take long. Everyone's looking for people. Register now. Just follow you around. You know, go where you go. Do what you do. I'm okay, but then you have to follow my orders. Oh, that's cute. Aww. Commander Kachina. Hey, you got it. I just don't want to make the trip back. It's so far. Alright, see y'all later. Let's get together and celebrate once this is over. Oh, you betcha. That's all. Absolutely. Return to the speaker's chamber. So we got a bird there. Okay. Let's see what is said and what happens. Is it going to be another captain appearance or what?
Let's go in. It's interesting that it was all trial characters for that fight. While we go, Chaska and Kuiku are here. Wait, are you okay, Kuiku? I'm fine, no need to worry. Some kind of injury that we can't see ourselves. They ran to the Fatui while out on a mission. They decided to follow them. The Fatui, the Fatui wanted Kuiku. Calm down and let me explain. Here's what happened. Oh, cutscene? Yeah, if only they let us trial Chaska here or something. Or... Watch out, it's the toy, and oh, we got the Abyssal Mimiflora. Were they attacked by the Abyss? No, wait, it looks like they're protecting a group of travelers over there, do you see? They aren't the Tristars, though. Oh, and you can even see. Using all their attacks. I want to see if they can get a reaction or something. That'd be fun. And... Yeah, they're actually... Some crystallizes spawned in. It's actually real NPCs fighting functionally. That's fun. You're right, that's a traveling group from Not One. Could they be trading for something? Let's keep observing for now. The Guider, okay, Baranov gives the appearance of this monster's offer. Not One. You should cancel your journey and seek Celtic at the stadium or one of the tribes. I wonder what's on with that voice changer, but it is interesting given. I wonder if they've got mass or something. Given that, I guess the question is whether Fatui skirmishers don't even use delusions. They've got normal faces. I guess it's a balaclava or something. Got masks too, so I guess this is all masked. I should make one of them playable or something. Uh, I see. Thank you so much. I wish there was something we could give you. We don't expect anything in return. We were out on a mission, saw you being attacked. It was our decision to help. If you truly wish to repay the favor, you can keep this a secret. If anyone asks, just say we're saved by warriors from not one. Ah, so they're trying to keep it a secret too. Interesting. Okay, we can do that. But, Titi Sherry, we're not asking you to cover up our activities. We haven't done anything illegal. Our captain simply wishes to remain undisturbed. Nonetheless, this just remains yours. If we wanted to keep you quiet, we would have employed a harsher method. <laughs> so they're good, but not necessarily nice. We got it, we'll get going now. We're at least willing to play the bad guy. Did you hear that? They mentioned a captain. Isn't who the Pyro Orkon is looking for. Exactly, we could be on to something big. So there was no train, they were just helping people in need. I didn't sense an ulterior motive. I didn't believe the captain when he said he wanted to save Nalan, but based on what we just saw, it's possible he was telling the truth. Maybe we've been wrong about the Fatui this whole time. Yeah, well... So that's when they're doing that review. Well, we did have a chasm at all, but it's too early to say what's follow them and see what's really going on. Oh? And so what did they find? Story in a research lab or something? Or so this is where they were headed? It looks tricky. It's how we guarded on all sides. This is by the stadium. Run where the Tristars are, actually. Quick, you're away from me here. I'll go in and check it out. Oh, no, you don't. How are you planning to get through all the guards? Look, I can use this train to my advantage. With her tribe special way of getting around, I doubt they'll see me coming. Yeah, he, she'll just fly. We still can't see anything on the inside, but if you can't find cover, you won't have anyone to watch your back if you go in alone. The more heavily guarded the location, the more valuable the secrets. Even if the captain isn't here, we can still figure out where the Fatui are planning. That intel is worth the risk. It's fine, you're not going to listen to me anyway, so let me come with you. It's not like she can fight. That's even more risky. You've been running around saving people for days. You're already at the limit. I'm confident I can protect myself. I'm not sure you can say the same, at least right now. I can. So you really believe that? Fine, don't believe me, but you can't honestly tell me infiltrating a heavily guarded Fatui hideout on your own sounds more reasonable. I wonder why they hyphenated that. You know, growing up, even if I insist on doing something, I never gave you any trouble. I'm not sure you can say the same. Alright, alright, if we start arguing, this will never end. I can't let this opportunity go to waste. <laughs> ah, I guess that means I win. Don't you worry, you're not the only capable young person from our tribe. I can handle this. All right, same plan as usual. We split up, communicate with hand signals, make sure our blind spots are covered, and support each other once we strike. Got your ropes. Let's go. Hmm. And... 
They just chilling or what? Sneak up and try to garrote him? Or... So Julia have eyes all over this place, so I should wait for a quicker signal. And... Some herbs, right? Doctor stuff. <sighs> Still got that mortar rock, too. That's fun. Interesting. Be funny if this was at least some kind of QTE. Now, go. Oh! Interesting. Okay, so it is kind of a QTE. Yeah, I bit my tongue, basically. Oh, it's even got the winch race music. All the sneaking music in general. Not sure how many chances I've been to get. I need to act. Jump down. Wonder what would happen if we failed one of the QTEs, though. Eh. Well, I made it without getting caught. I should get that platform over there, but it's guarded by the Vitui. But I wonder if eventually we're going to have to fail. Kuiku should have one of sight. I'll wait for her signal. Oh, she's got a special looking telescope, too, and. Oh, it's a lens icon, just like the Memento lens, too. I like how they reuse that overlay. It's it, now's my chance. Quickly approach the area underneath the platform. This is probably where we get caught. Given that it didn't even have a timing icon. Or. What if we mess this up? So now you're staying in the place, I should keep moving. Is this where she gets caught? It is funny seeing the pyramid over there. It's like Chaska is helping me keep an eye on the Fitui movements. I'll wait for her signal. And... Now, or... She can see us with the telescope. Time to move. Go. But it doesn't have any kind of time signal. Yeah, because she's not turning back around. Or... Sound? Is that a deliberate diversion, or... Phew, that was close. Almost got caught. Probably can't make it over in one go. I'll wait for my next chance. Now's my chance. Oh, I guess we're only controlling Chaska's. And is this where we get spotted, or... No, she can just climb. Ah, oh, I made it. That'll show my sister. Let's see, the Vitui is occupied in all the best locations. If we could just get past them somehow, but I've got it. Kind of distraction. Or... And this... Toss up mysterious spear. Stink bomb. Or... Some kind of dendro field, it seems. Dendroid Kuiko? Hmm? Oh, it's that noise? No, it's on the exploit. Oh, it stinks. Yeah, it's a stink bomb. Go away, Cob. Dearay, Coffin, what the heck is that? What do you think you're doing? Oh, starting a fight between nearby warriors and the Fatui. Go away, Cob. I could ask you the same thing. Good, they're arguing. Looks like they just need an excuse. They probably had enough of this job already. Mm. The people when they hold over there left to help their comrades. This is our chance. be funny if it was over by the Tri-Stars. Can you get me Chaska? I hope she gets this hand signal. That's quick as signal. Has smart idea. All right, time to move. Isn't her head turning? And another climb. Give me your hand quick. Is that noise going to order them or coming? I checked this place completely clear. It should lead us to the deepest part of this place. Here, just flown over her head or something. Or around. So they gotta use the playable areas too, right? Oh, some kind of... What is that cube? Well, I was pretty helpful, right? You know, everyone usually jumps at the chance to work with me. Not my own sister, though. No, she avoids me like her life depends on it. <clears throat> I was wrong, Kuiku. You've done well. 
Wait, you're just gonna admit it? Now I look like the mean one. Let's focus on the task at hand. We're in the heart of enemy territory. The more time we waste, the more dangerous this becomes. Alright, alright. If you're not gonna take the bait, then I'll drop it. Looks like the Victoria are here to dig something up. I'm surprised they mobilized this many people. I doubt it's because they're interested in our culture and history. Who's got the Rekishi? Yeah, culture and history. This should be some kind of phlogiston device. Seems like they're working for a dragon relic called the Source Mechanism. Yeah, secret source stuff. The device is ancient, barely any information survives to this day, and even people from Notlin don't know how to use it. Why would this be the Fitui's target? You know, Ski? Not bad, looks like it's in good shape. This should be what our world is looking for. Presumably, the Saurian. Extracted full guest in my power? Run that Saurian research lab. Took us long enough? Come on, let's get this thing back. Back, back, where should we keep following? You really want to keep going, or take him out and take it? Of course we make a good team, don't you think? No reason to stop now. Hmm, what was that sound? And this is where... Uh oh, we've been spotted, time to go. Foreign mark incoming, watch out for your gadget. Ah, interesting. This would diversion, what? Scoff, you'll regret that after them. And is that all, or... He didn't get to find that base then. Once we got them off our tail, we went back to observe some more. They collected several identical pieces of something. Looked like they were waiting, though, so we decided to come back. So I could have not gotten injured trying to get them off your tail. Uh -huh, with a rocker. She pushed herself too hard and collapsed on the way back to the stadium. Well, I didn't cause you any trouble while we were fighting right, so my perfect record remains. You've done very well. I can make a comment on knowing your limits, but it's not my place. Given that she's pushing herself, too. I know, I know, I'm already reflecting on my actions. So our current intel suggests the toy is after the source mechanism. The device is a complete mystery even to us. What does the captain want with it? I have no idea, but it's safe to assume the device can serve a similar purpose to the Gnosis. She went in, I need to gather every scholar not unfamiliar with the secret source. I'll get right on it. Thank you both for your hard work, Kuiku. It's time for you to get some rest. Oh, and there were gifts from your patients waiting at the speaker's chamber. I prepared a small gift of my own as a token of gratitude. I'll send it to your home along with the others. My patients, that's so nice of them. Yes, that means I'm doing something right. You don't need to give us anything or kind. We were just doing our duty for not one. I should take Kuiku home now. Mm -hmm. Well, if Kuiku doesn't want her favorite Sora's crackers, then... What is she? Scooby-Doo? I accept. Thank you, Archon. So, what am I going to do with you? There's some of the rest of you as well. They're one of my favorites, too, so don't be shy. I'll start investigating the source mechanism right away. If I weren't anything, you'll be the first to know. Ah, yummy snacks. Okay. So, next is... Did farewell to Chaska and Kuiku. Just want to check real quick. Let's see. All of these icons over here. Yinkasaur. Kaholasaur. The tail. The fin. The drill. Can identify it. Portions on them. And the ears of the Iktomasaur. Swimming. To be fair, the tail doesn't really do anything there. Can really show the head, I guess. Full head and then digging. And then the wings of the Kukasaur for flight. And then Tatankasaurs here. And that seems like horns, maybe? Tatanka, basically a water buffalo. Probably for charging. And then the ears, because they're bat like. And they do have a bit of pseudo flight jumps, but mostly it's. <sighs> They're seeing or hearing their echolocation site, so to speak. And. Right, they're making us go around the long way, right. Cool. And. Over this way. All the way down there. Okay. Come on. Right over there. Over this in the inn, or... No, they're actually going over this way, because that's where Flower Feather Quen is in the first place. Right by that Kukasaur, too. It's funny how it's 
almost in that territory. What's next for you two? Tosan to Kasan. Not even Oto or Oko. Oka. Very informal. I'm taking Kuiku home with her parents there to keep an eye on her. I can make sure she actually dress. Yeah, it's not like I'm some kind of prisoner. I'll be fine in a day or two. There's no need to go all the way home. That's what you always say. Everything's no big deal until you collapse. What if the abyss attacks again? You're saying if I let you rest in a hotel, you're not going to rush out the minute you hear the alarm? I won't triple promise I won't. Well... Hello! How are you doing? Mm-hmm. Fine, on the off chance something like that were to happen, I might. Actually, I think I'm actually gonna do Abyss today, so... Showed up at the right time. But I'm a doctor, I have a duty to help people in need, no matter how hard or tired the work gets, we need you. So you need to look after yourself, too. I guess you're right. Abyss. But I don't have to like it. Oh, this runs Paimon of when we first met, except you were the one trying to stop Shaska from doing something dangerous. I do the same for anyone trying to put their life in danger. As a doctor, I don't want people to get hurt because of a rash decision. And try to see things from my perspective. You clearly want to protect your patients. So can't you understand why your own sister would feel the same way about you? The two of you are the same, you know? I disagree. I understand the risks and costs of my decisions. Who wants to be like her, overconfident, always making excuses when things go wrong? That's just not true. So if you think I don't have proof... Okay, okay, don't get into another fight, just pretend Paimon never said anything. Don't worry, Paimon, you didn't do anything wrong. Arguing is just how we communicate. Neither of us really takes it to heart. Plus, I guess we are somewhere in some ways. Maybe I rushed into things without thinking, but I learned that from her. For family, I can't help it if my older sister is a bad influence. Okay, you don't have to put it that way. So, you're all good now. This is probably normal for them. Neither of us are the type to back down, so we'll always have our differences, but still we get along in our own way. Plus, I know you'll wake up one day and realize I was right all along. I just need to wait. You're my guest. Come on, let's get you home. See you later, traveler and Paimon. I'll be back once everything's settled at home. There's no rush. At least grab a nice meal with your family. See you later. Bye, you too. Take care of yourselves out there. And... Oh? What's next? Ah, those two will probably make up for real at some point, right? Well, we've learned a lot. Let's go everything over everything that we know so far. When Paimon try to analyze the captain's goal, you feel like you're just one step away from the answer. Save not run, huh? Footsteps? Oh, it's the Tlali's back. Tlali. Ahem, sorry for popping out of nowhere again, huh? Oh, why do you look so awkward? Is there something you need from us? Okay, I won't beat around the bush. Oh, and I'm sorry for interrupting your rest. I'll treat you some charcoal grilled steak to make up for it. Not just steak, charcoal grilled steak. I wonder if that... That... I wonder if that food is even available yet. Because presumably it'd be a sort of chimichurri kind of thing. Argentinian steak. I didn't even notice, but her ornament around her vision is just like the ears of the Ictomasaur. Her tribe Saurian. The one we're getting next version. Awesome, just give us your orders. Hey, friends, don't order each other around. I'm just here to share some news. Remember what we talked about before parting ways? Oh, uh, yeah, you mentioned how Oron has always wanted to save Natlan and something about his soul being fragmented. Pa Travor and Paima discuss it after you left, and we think Oron is probably back with the captain. What do you think? Or has he gotten back home? I agree with your hypothesis, and just now I confirmed it myself. Oron came back, he helped the Masters of the Nightwind defend our camp. What, he came back? Did he say anything? I told him to give up whatever he's doing, but he refused. He said they're just one step away from success, so there's no way he can back out now. Apparently, he came back to fulfill his duty to our tribe. When he left, he said it was because he still has a duty to not want as a whole. Upon my surprise, he let him go at all. I had to prioritize my tribe, besides, the situation was intense. I couldn't focus on outside and inside threats at the same time. Plus, he was on guard. He knew I would try to go after him, so he made sure to keep his distance. I kept an eye out for a good opportunity, but it never came. I honestly feel like Satwa is going to be another punchy catalyst character when she comes out. So I all these years of calling Granny, and I couldn't do a single thing for, thing for him in the end. Don't say that, your tribe will raise him together, right? That couldn't have been easy. Da da da. 
The riot seeing him come back reminded me of when, of when he was little, running around the tribe, dropping by random houses right and left. He's not only a child of the masters of the night wind, but a child of the mountain. So natural for a child to want to do something for their family. Besides, Oro is my apprentice. He might have a few tricks up his sleeve, but I guarantee I know every single one. Wait, what are you saying? Look, and that... Some kind of stone? Oh, remember how I said Oro's soul is fragmented? This is a talisman I created to keep at table. So presumably she can use it to control him or find him, maybe? And this gem is what makes the talisman work. Omamori. Just so happens that Oro is due for a gem replacement. Since I can't get close to him, I put the new gem in his supply bag and asked Ifa to bring it to him. So presumably it's going to be used as a way to track him down? You guys know Eva, right? No? Well, he's a pretty famous vet around these parts. He's always bringing me all sorts of things, like vegetables, and he happens to be very good friends with Oron. Eva doesn't know what's going on, so we agree no questions to ask Oron to find the gem as soon as he opened the bag. He knows how important it is, so I knew he would make the switch. You probably suspected that I tampered with it, but here's the catch. The trick is on the bag. The moment he touched it, a portion of his memories were copied onto the old gem, which he no longer needed. It's amazing you can do something like that. Most people can't, but I can. Good at magic. That trick he used to bring you to the Night Kingdom isn't anything special, by the way. My technique is much more subtle, you won't notice anything. So in other words, we have a whole back of Oron's memories in this gem. Hmm, the kid thinks he can take me on like I wasn't the one who taught him everything he knows. It's amazing so tall, let's take a look right away. And once we get to the bottom of this, we can finally track him down. Dot dot dot. I know he thinks of me as his grandma, but do you think he'll get mad at me for this? You can be honest. I don't know. Oh, that's a tough question. Puma doesn't have a grandma, so she's not the best person to ask. It's possible families disagree sometimes, but as his family, you have to do this. To be honest, I've always doubted my ability to look after him. I didn't stop the ceremony all those years ago, and now I'm useless again. Mm -hmm. They really tried hard to model her eyelashes, eyelashes into it. Not individually, but to give it some thickness, which is interesting. You know, you can see them all. But if I stop here, it will haunt me until I'm 500 years old. Conria. Every night I'll wake up in a fit of anger and then start crying and then start freaking out. You did miss her getting drunk earlier, by the way. Oh, I don't scare her that easy. So if I back away from this and something happens to Oron, I would never forgive myself. I need to look at his memory, even if he resents me, refuses to see me, or runs away for good. I don't care and I won't blame him. Family does whatever it takes to protect their own. Sure you'll be okay, we can come with you if you want. Did you just say you'll come with me? Is that okay? We have a pretty good reason to see it too, don't we? Because uh, right, we need weeds on the fatui. Parman's right, we should be there. You really mean it? Fine, you can come, just promise me you'll see this through, no backing out, got it? Don't worry, we're professional adventurers. Then I'll place my trust in your professionalism. Right, time to sneak into someone else's memory and engage in some uh, unwanted spying. You heard of your first? I wouldn't be doing this if I had any other choice. Sail, are you ready? I move away from the mic to breathe in. I'm ready. And... <clears throat> Guess it's a little like that spirit speaker stone from last patch. That was also hers. Oh, we got a special icon for that. That's fun. Me when I'm picking vegetables. Look how good you're doing, we'll grow into nice big radishes in the future. Oh, it's probably just gonna be all about vegetables and nothing else. And you, Ifa, says you're taking up too much space, but I think you're a good tree. What do you think? So this is the part where he talks to his plants. Okambi, hey, how, how's it going, Oron? Good, how are you, Uncle Okambi? Oh, so presumably you should be able to find his vegetable patch around somewhere. I can't complain what you're up to. Naming your vegetables again. No, just some idle conversation with the vegetables. Huh? Sounds fascinating. What do they say? 
They told me you were coming, that you would take some produce with you. Imagine this is just dry humor. Huh, only if you're offering. By the way, I ran to Ifa yesterday. She told me Chaska's fostering a sore in at his place. Something trampled over a part of your radish garden. I hope you two didn't get into a huge fight. No, don't worry, I'll find a way for him to make it up to me. I've already wrapped up your share of the produce, here you go. I really knew I was coming, that's pretty amazing. I'm trying to think, what specific part of the map is this? What of the smoke, and you can see the path through the shadows, that's what everyone says. It... It's by one of the statues of the seven. It... It feels like he has the tism. Honestly, can you see it? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Not in a bad way, just... He talks to his vegetables, and he has an incredibly dry sense of humor. Or at least is accidentally funny by being blunt. Hey, have you seen that strange group of people that just appeared out of nowhere? Appeared out of nowhere? I don't think so. The Fatui? Yeah, it's the Fatui. Their leader seems like a big deal, Capitano. He didn't bring many men with him, but they're all warriors. It seems like they're working for someone. But I wouldn't go around asking too many questions. So is this before he met up with Capitano, or... If you run into them, be careful. Oh, okay, okay. Well... More veggies. Oh, Capitano feed. So this is their first meeting. You're from the Masters of the Night Window, are you not? Why do you live here alone? Okay, so this must be... Yeah, this must be by the stadium, because you can see Harvestokum over here. And that's the mountain, so it must be... I can try to find this pretty soon, I think. I can triangulate that. I enjoy... You can even see a... Uh, Hierarchus, so we could use that even more. I enjoy living by myself out in the wild. I guess you're from the Fatui, the one everyone's calling a big deal. Not an inaccurate description. Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, it's kind of in between the mountain and that one tower. Looking for someone who may be known to you, Satoli is her name. Granny, what does an outlander want with her? Marriage. Just kidding. I've heard the name, you have business with her. Honestly? I feel like... Satoli is kind of being set up as the traveler ship. Which... Makes a lot of sense, considering that she's in a similar boat of, of sort of, you know, very old, looks young, which is, again, e oftentimes forgotten about, but also the Traveler's deal. For the name, you have business with her. <laughs> da, da, da. There's no point to further questioning. If you insist on hiding things from me, I shall seek answers elsewhere. He could tell it was lying, and now he's leaving. He gave up just like that. Read people well. Hey, at least tell me why you're looking for Sakali. It's none of your concern. I have my own means of tracking her down. I... I'm not complaining. Did I ever say I was complaining? Why are the Vitui looking for her? What does she have to do with them? I can't just let them go like this. I have to figure out what they're planning. Mm. On to the next memory. Say you're Onion. Or you're Oron. They're over the Kukasaur. No, no, oh, the pond by the Kukasaur. It's a little close to where the Tristores are, yeah. Cap, da, da, da. It. What'll pass. Sure you will. Sure you will. They've just been studying the Leylands and asking who it's on Granny. Can, I can definitely rule out some sort of invasion. So is this? Has this been about a year ago? Or... No, no, they met in between last patch and this patch. The situation has seen no true improvement. The Power Archon did not fulfill her promise. Torko, my lord, Taicho-sama. Well, just Captain. Hmm? Ignore him, he is no threat. He knows I'm following him, but he doesn't seem to care. Oh, but... Was there a meeting... between... Mabuka and Capitano before... Last patches, or...? He's strong, I can tell, but there's something unusual about him and also familiar in some way. I can't describe it. Uh, what is it? Or Rune Sound Illusion? Or, my lord, I, I feel dizzy. 
Yeah, it's his bat powers. A very long disturbance, certain presences have been forced to wa- No, it's Leon stuff. Never mind, I've been forced to wander outside the rightful realm. Dot dot dot. Oh, so he's got some sort of Nalan power. That was a spell from the Master of the Nightwind. How does he know that? Is he sending those escaped souls back into the ley lines? How did he do that so easily? Soul fairing is supposedly extremely difficult. That could be related to why he's searching for Granny. Oh, I feel much better. Thank you, my lord. Mm -hmm. Think nothing of it. Stay vigilant and continue to gather information. The Abyss could attack at any moment. If you notice any irregularities, assume drill formation and be prepared to fight. However, there is no reason to over-engage. Information is our first priority. Yes, sir. Why are the Petrui fighting against the Abyss? Do they really mean us no harm? Mm -hmm. And I heard another sound. Marking a chest, or are we back outside the memories now? We got different stuff. Okay. I like how his theme is this slow, ominous piano. I've been following them this whole time, and still they ignore me. Do they really not care? He's confident in his power. It seems like his subordinates refer to him as the captain. I've never heard of him before. <clears throat> now he's heading to the stadium. That's unusual. What is he going to do? You two with me? Everyone else wait here as instructed. Send word to the other teams for a street immediately. This fails. Oh, this is just from the first patch when he took on Mavlika. Right. So Oron saving Capitano was not because of a prior agreement, but just because he felt like it. Interesting. Yes, sir. He's going inside, but the power archons in here. What does he want with her? Forgive me, my lord. Allow me to check one more time. Do you truly wish to do this? The time for idle observation is over, and now falls on me to ask. I do find it interesting that you still have his face sort of shadowed under the helmet. I wonder if we'll ever get explanation for what is exactly going on there with the shadow. Because there's explanation for other stuff, but... You can kind of see... No, that's the other side of the helmet. It's about to say it looks a bit like a nose, but... It's just a tiny bit of chain. This nation is out of time. Not the shade of time, shade of death. Yes, sir. He just walks straight into the stadium. What is he going to do? And here you see Malvika holding that Earthshaker Claymore she got from Kinich. I like how they bring those two specific Fatui skirmishers with him back. They're both incredibly strong. How long would they have to fight until someone comes out on top? Yeah, but yeah, he has basically... Wacko Night Soul. The same way that she has her own Wacko Night Soul. So I feel as if, if he's playable, it would make sense for it to be during Nalan, but. And. Open parenthesis, dot dot dot, exclamation mark, close parenthesis. Mulan Heart Pierce. This is where he saves him. Wait, this feeling, just like the other day near the ley lines, it's faint. Like his soul is trying to escape. Where is it coming from? Oh, from him, from Capitano's wound. Is that why he's looking for Granny? If he dies here, then I'll cool easily lost. Can't let that happen. Well, I don't imagine Mavico would have killed him anyway. Well, I do you like how we've got that special icon, dot, 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 and this is the conversation from last patch. As for you, I must confess, I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long as the sun remains, we cannot turn day into night. She could have dispelled it, she simply chose not to. You don't have much time and you're injured on top of that, so what do you plan to do next? I guess it implies some sort of sun aspect to Madoka, maybe? Which would make sense given the whole Aztec sun focus in their myth. Maybe. I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. You heard something from here, didn't you? Oh, yeah, from his wound. Cough. No need to force yourself. I've never seen anyone match the Pyro Archon in battle before. Hmm, I didn't you expect, expect you to intervene at such a critical moment. You know I've been following you. Why didn't you stop me? 
森の中を歩いていると野獣に遭遇することがあるが When walking in the forest, it is only natural to encounter wild beasts. However, not every beast has the courage to come out and bite. Yet, one of those very beasts saved your life. <laughs> da da da. And speak, what do you want? I didn't save you because I wanted something. My soul is more perceptive than others. I can sense that the Leylands are extremely weak. I don't know what the Pyrarchan is planning. Can she really save us? The questions you asked her just now, well, I've had very similar doubts. So I felt like I had to help you. <laughs> Uh, so you can tell the truth, that was quite a reckless decision to make. I'm not sure you realize that. There's no turning back for me now. What I did back there is going to get me in a lot of trouble. You attack the Pyro Archon in broad daylight, and I use my spell to save you. Single glance is likely all it took for her to recognize my tribe. So we're in the same boat. She seemed to care little for my thoughts on the matter. It's too late for that. Start from the beginning. Why are you looking for Satanli? Do you know her? Explain your relation to her first. I know you two are acquainted. It was the obvious the moment I mentioned her name. Satanli is my elder and my teacher. She taught me everything I know. It's my duty to protect her. It's a long pause. Interesting. Interesting. If you truly wish to protect her, you should have let me perish at the power of hand, so... She would have just killed him. Okay. And you chose otherwise, do I really need to tell you what that means? Da da da. I want to do something to change not one for the better. Something that I can accomplish with my own two hands. You're stranger than anyone I've ever met. But maybe, just maybe, you can show me the way. Strange. Kawarimono. Sitwell is said to be the legendary Glass Baba. Someone capable of communicating with the Waya, the Great Spirit, Tyre. And the Waya are the key to information on the Night Kingdom. Which again is... Night God's Kingdom. Why do you need knowledge on the Night Kingdom? That is not something you need to know. Don't forget I saved your life. Do not believe the Fatui capable of betraying a death. Hmm. People can lie, but souls cannot. I can tell there's a weight to your soul, a sense of justice. Keep glazing Kabata, please. And you may not live among your tribe, but you certainly know their tricks. I apologize for my rest judgment. You are more capable than I imagined. I do like how Capitano is very quick to acknowledge other people's strengths. Let's go. We'll see if you have what it takes to join my plan. Okay, and is that it? It definitely betray, demonstrates his confidence in himself. See, interesting approach. We're trying, I think. Rather than weaving a net to protect the ley lines, this method would address the root problem. <clears throat> By reconstructing the ley lines themselves. And... Guess we'll get details on what exactly was said there later. I like that. It's kind of like how, in the final act of Sumeru Archon Quest... They hid the actual nature of the plan that was being carried out until each step actually happened, so every bit was a surprise. I I would personally say this one has been fun so far. The war drops are cool. And given what's coming next... A lot of people say that the best sort of midpoint set of Archon Quest is not ones now, but the best first part is Fontaine, and the best conclusion is probably Sumeru. I... I think Inazuma's... The end of its end is still really, really good. But the rest of its final Archon Quest is just way too rushed. But... They got... A lot of mileage out of having two boss fights in that quest. And that still makes it kind of a second best to me, even if the rest was absolute ga absolute ass. And to be fair, a lot of it was because they were using... The Raiden fight as a chassis for the eventual Raiden Weekly. But still, they were able to make it work, and I liked that. Ta-ta-ta. Well... 
I still think it'd be cool to actually fight regular Raiden again. I feel like it was a missed opportunity that even when we got the rerun of the Sword Parry event with the Aika costume, the final fight was against just against Magu Kanki, which was still fun, but I honestly kind of expected a rematch against Raiden, and that would have been fun. Raiden fight with parry mechanics would be an ironic peak. Well, uh, Travel or Paimon, are you two all right? Paimon's fine, just I'm a little dizzy, I'm fine. Are you okay, Sotomi? Of course. I'm just, I'm so mad at him. Burning Sotomi. Thought you were cryovision. Scoff, after everything, he still can't let go of the past. I can kind of understand how he feels. For some reason, he thinks he owes something to the people who cared for him. The stubborn self largest fool, where's that gonna get him? Mm -hmm. So it's cop- Oh, did he miss the part about the Ororon child sacrifice? Or did he hear about that from elsewhere? Now that he is all grown up, he thinks no one can tell him what to do. He thinks he can just run away whenever he wants. I'll show him if he tries to run one more time, he's got another thing coming. Oh, well, because you weren't here. Basically, Ororon has a fragmented soul. So that talisman we had was something Satoa uses to stabilize it. And he was going to be used to basically have his empty soul carry a bunch of other souls to the Night Kingdom to stabilize the Ley Lines. And of course they do that by killing him. So he was, but he escaped the sacrifice ritual. So it... Yeah. So he's just like Shenha. Failed child sacrifice. Yeah. Maybe Stominus runs in the family like grandmother, like grandson, as they say. And a lot of the sort of relationship between Oro and Satuali is framed by the fact that she didn't really try to stop it and still feels guilt over it. Is that supposed to be a compliment? That kid's got nothing on me. I still wonder what her kid is going to be like. Because it's said that she's basically going to be five-star Layla, apparently. But who knows? And... Anyway, back to what we just saw. I don't even know what to make of it. Yeah, the captain seriously wants to reconstruct the ley lines. What does that even mean? Something like the womb of fate, maybe. But how does that help with the abyss? Womb of fate? Oh, she wouldn't know, right? Oh, well, it's kind of hard to explain. Basically, it's a device from Conry that has unbelievable power. Anyway, if he really wants to make the ley lines, everyone in that one will be affected. This is big. It's serious. He's serious. It lines up with everything he said before. He tried to seize the Gnosis for the same purpose. Which means the captain has been honest from the very beginning. Oron's memory proves that. More glazing! Why is he so obsessed with saving not one? We've got to tell Mabuka about this right away. It's because... He wants to... He wants to make his girlfriend happy. Yes, she needs to know about this now. Okay, let's go. All right, and you know, take us right to the chamber, or oh, that's the end of that one. Well, there we go. Beyond the smoke and mirrors. So next one, go to Mavica beneath the secret source. Tell Mavica about the captain's intentions. After several twists and turns, you finally understand the captain's plan and goal to reconstruct the ley lines. This seems to a risky endeavor, one for which countermeasures must be discussed with Mavica post haste. Okay. Interesting. So, I'll do that tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to do Abyss. Alright. Let's go over here. That's a fun one to end things on. That ends with us sort of walking towards the stadium. And then we got to go there ourselves. So, in that case... Okay, we got all those. Skip four. Not, four is not intended. Obtain the rewards this season. And that's not even... We can't even avoid that, right? Yeah, we have to claim those already. We already got that, but... You know, I want to do it already. After a character uses an elemental skill, said character's defense increases by 60% for 9 seconds. I... Chiori is also... That also works for Chiori. I... They want us to be using Chiori for this, so... Chiori on one side, Shuanen on the other, maybe. I... Victorian golems, the other side, I think, Geo and Numusia, 
It's definitely a... Definitely a shoe in end moment. And away get this golem. Just ruined rakes. Who would get stuff from defense is the question. I gotta think. 12 stars already just from that. Silly joke. And... Oh, what do you know? We got a blue faint right here. Good stuff. I do like how they show Chaska and Kuiko's sister relationship. Definitely makes them, makes her a little more interesting than she was before. Let me see. And also relates some future plot events. Okay, so that's going to take us to 59. Pity on the normal banner. I think we got a bunch of Tablet of Tona this patch, too. 59. And... Here we go. And it's... Okay, nothing. Alright. Alright. That's life. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think one side can be Shion and Navia team, and the other side can be Noel full Noel Monogio with Chiori. So in that case, oh, and you've got Imaginarium Theater stuff too, right? Let's give you Wolf Fang. Cool. What's that? Shuri, Shionen, and then... Also got Nahida and Huta this patch, but... They're on back half, and they're not really relevant here. I couldn't even... Well, if I really wanted to, I guess I could figure out. Shionen's good on a Huta team, actually, because... She can shred Pyro, and it's... You can't really make Huta work with Viridescent Venor. Oh, yeah. I guess. It is what it is. It won't kill me. I hope. Okay, so... Try that Navia team on one side. Power damage bonus is nothing for me, but I... Opponent details... It doesn't really matter which one I choose. Actually, you know... Navia on the second half, because why not? The main thing about this team is that... Navia Burst actually has to come out a little later than normal. Because... Well, that's actually not a bad thing, because without Albedo, you create fewer crystallized shards anyway. You know... I guess it's not impossible. Got the Shulinen, then Navia, then Bennett. So the main thing is that to get the absolute maximum damage, you want to have sh you want to allow Shulinen to crystallize an Electro to get Fischl a bit of extra damage too, and you want to start that off with a Charge Shot because Oz, unless you resummon Oz, which if you summon Oz at the start, you're not getting as much Oz field time with the buff anyway. If you summon him, you re snapshot, which means you would get that Electro Damage bonus, but normally, once Oz is on the field, nothing changes for that instance of Oz unless you resummon him. So even if you allow Shionen to go in, trigger her artifact set to get- Oh, also I opened up one of those special spaces with one of those Obsidian Rings. And in addition to the artifact juice, it also gave me, oh, ten artifacts, and it was all- Got two five-star sets, well, one five-star set of each of the new Not One artifacts, which was pretty fun. It makes me wonder if- when the volcano comes out, and presumably we get another not one artifact set, whether their little chamber is going to be Obsidian Codex and Cinder City again, or whatever the new artifact set is. Especially if it's more volcano related, maybe. I don't know. But Obsidian Codex and Cinder, Cinder City are also sort of directly not one lore related. I'm not sure if. Given that. Though, if they're putting them out in the real world. And they did do that with... There was a Noblesse piece in the big chamber in Leeway from the very first patch of the game. And I don't think they really put a lot of thought into that. Because Noblesse is related to Mondstadt. But in Chasm, you could get four-star pieces of Tenacity of the Middle through one quest. And they definitely thought about that. That was deliberate. Okay, so I think... I... Honestly, the question is... <sighs> Zhongli or Albedo there? Zhongli does shred, but... <sighs> Noelle's already got her shield, and honestly, you want to dodge more than shield anyway there. I... Honestly, I'm gonna go full offense. Oh, but if we're fighting Praetorian Golem, really... <sighs> 
We're finding Praetorian Golem. Zhongli being able to drain Geo Shield is probably better anyway. Rest in peace, Chiodi, I guess. That's sad. Also, the Meteor applying a crazy amount of Geo app, too. Just gotta make sure everyone's got the right stuff then. And then we'll put a Noel and. Oh, but Noel without. <sighs> That's the issue, right? I didn't even think about that, but. Navi has got the Serpent Spine, which means what am I gonna put on Noel? Huh. I. That's interesting to think about. Huh. I don't have any other crit claymores. Huh. Huh. I'd say I guess you could keep this, but. If we had. That's some stupid garbage, but... Hmm... It's a crit rate claymore. It's not as good as Spine, but it's a crit rate claymore. Hmm... Yeah... I guess. Though, honestly, I'd probably put it on Navi instead, given that it... does get that bonus from the Pyro... It's not amazing, but also you're getting a, getting a crazy amount of damage bonus on that team anyway. Not crazy crazy, but you're getting a lot from Shilinen in a way that isn't... Because Gora just boosts defense. I feel like Navi would lose less from having... Debate Club instead of Serpent Spine in comparison. Mm. I... I feel like I should actually level this thing. Maybe. You know, that's from a song, right? That's the song Maps by the Ya yeah, Ya yeah, Ya's, which is a really good song, by the way. A really good song. I think 510 versus... Mm -mm. Okay, just checking. I... You know what? It would be really funny. We could have... I want to see if I can craft any more of those funny plates. Or actually, if... Is today plate day in the Samaru domain? That'd be really convenient. Relatively, and... It's plate day! <laughs> yes! Okay. Well... Let's do a couple of runs. It's one of those. Okay. That was deliberate. It's what you get for being an Italian at 521 in the morning. Okay. Well, let's get a couple more plates. Are, are you mad about that? Does that make you sad? Does that make you angry? What do you mean by 22? Okay. Should be a... This team will work well pretty much anywhere. All right. No, I said I didn't say. Oh. Well, what? That's because of the delay on stream. That's because of the stream delay. And let's just keep on using and good damage. Oh, you were out of range. I hate you. I hate you so much. And all right, thank you. And keep on shooting. And let's shoot over there. Thanks. Up. Ah, wrong place. Awful. Evil. Terrible. Okay. We're on and... Ah, that's gone. And I... Who did that hit? That... Come on, come on. I, hit and Ariel. Ariel. Good stop. I like how she can hit Ariel pretty adequately, honestly. That's fun. Cool. Better to be pissed off than pissed on. Oh, we even got a gold one. Well. Hmm. Didn't bother condensing resin, but that's okay, I guess. And hit and okay. Oh, not all of them spawned in, that's right. I that's obnoxious. And who do we gotta hit? You and Well, that wasn't quite it. 
Come on, and... Come on, shooting, and it... It's gone. It's all gone. That was unpleasant. And... Shoot. Can we get another one in, or... Uh, nice, there we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And... That hit you? Not really. Okay. Let's make sure we hit you up in the air. Nice. And that damage is good. That damage is good. Yeah, basically... You have to be in not one, though, because you have to have a full Giston bar. At least it was just a turtle. Okay. The bait club is interesting, and now all of you are here. Thank you. And I, oh, not perfect. Yeah. Still. And I... Oh, what? Really? Did I miss the floater? No, it was just a timing thing, I imagine. Ah, uh, whatever. Thank you, and shoot, and up. That didn't totally miss. There we go. Thank you. And, come on, come on, come on. And, get the floater. Let's try to hit with that, and floater again. Cool, and we should be able to, oh my goodness. Oh, no more, no more burning. Come on. There we are. Huh? Is turtle a reference to... Getting peed on by a turtle a reference to free or something? That doesn't even surprise me. I just didn't know. Oh, oh. You can just say sport anime. You don't have to special... You don't have to specify the gay part. It's kind of inherent in the name already. So, a new movie for... Wait, is that... That's not this Italian Skateboard Kid one, right? It's different, right? Just checking. Okay, and... Let's just craft a bunch of plates. Cool. Should be able to... Make a couple. That... Not enough. Another. Oh, well. Okay. Mm -mm. So I suppose let's level debate club up a little and give it to Navio this time. It's not good. But it always says crit rate. So. Mm, it's always interesting to think. Since I didn't play from first patch, I missed about oh five patches worth of being able to choose a battle pass weapon. It's gonna- I wonder if they'll have some way to sort of catch up on that eventually. But either way... I... Don't let Navi use that stupid thing this time. It's interesting to think about what weapons I care about getting all the way to R5 now and which ones I don't. It's n because by the time that I've gotten some more to R5, there will be more to come- more coming out. Because they added more in Fontaine, because after that, with that patch, they hadn't put on new weapons. Someone who had, there had been 25 patches, someone who had gotten focused on refining each weapon to R5. If someone had gotten all the five battle class weapons to R5, they would have had to get a duplicate, a true duplicate at that point. So I guess, let's see, Navi, you can get to Big Club. And to Bit Club, uh, Navia. And we'll put Spawn on Noel. She honestly needs it more. Okay, Noel. It's always fun when Noel gets to come out and play again. To be fair, Navia could kind of use Wolves, but Navia's single target, and that's not great for Wolves. Wolves is not a single target weapon. Yeah, it's fun. So, official. Official, Shulin, Navia. No, official, Shulin, and Navia. Bennett. And first half is. Zhongli, Goro, Chiori. And. Noel. I'm gonna make sure they've all got the right weapons. And does Goro, well, also... Do you have your tenacity right now? 
Zhongli. No, you got that set. You need a... Fav. You also need to take... Because Yao Yao's got the tenacity set. Because Dia, who was previously holding that tenacity set, it's also good on her. Trade it back and forth with Zhongli. Has Yao Yao's deep wood set right now so she can work with Keenage. So it's all this song and dance going on. Okay. All right. Then right over there. So now, now Yao Yao will be holding the Petra Noblesse two-piece, two-piece. That's funny. And it was some kind of circle. I forget which one. And let's see. Yep, it was Gladiator. It was pretty safe bet. There we go. And that should be good. It should be good. Let's do this thing. Alright. First is okay. That's fine. And you know what? Let's try the big rock. It's okay enough damage. And... And... Hit! And thank you! Hit and boost your defense like that. And cool. Good stuff. Oh, so good. Oh, that's that's right. I need to put Noel first so she can get spine stacks. She wasn't getting any serpent spine stacks, right? And you know what? We can keep you in place like that. Right. And there we go. Okay. No, because it didn't even kill them. It didn't even do that much damage to them. It wasn't the best option there. There we go. Okay. All right. The, the meteor didn't even do that much damage. That's the thing. Okay, and Koholosaurus this time. But this will probably kill because it didn't even kill any of them. Oh, well. And I... Oh, goodness. But I... Oh, that's right! He doesn't have Fabbo! I'm stupid! Okay. Yeah, okay. Especially since the Noel stuff. Right, that's what I need to check. Goro needs to have Fabbo. Yeah, check so many things. That Cloudforge doesn't do a thing for him. Sorry, Farazan. She is basically Animo Goro anyway. Okay, so we right, we put a Noel first so she can get her spawn stacks. Noel. Zhongli. Goro, Chiori, and then Fischl, Shionen, Bennett, Navia. There, there was a lot to do, okay? Give me a break. And the one thing about Spine is waiting 30 seconds to get the stacks up, which isn't really necessary here. I, I know. I was just saying it so you wouldn't have an excuse. You can't say I didn't ask you. And there we go. It, again, it doesn't really matter here, but... Big damage is always fun. And there we are, and... Yep, you can really make sure for the foul that somebody gets hit, which is nice. Thank you, and... One, two, three, four. So good. I love this team so much. It'd be even better with Ito. Okay. And... Hit. And... Hit. And... Oh, yeah. And... Hit. I... Oh, but right, you want to have Navi in there first, right? So she can put the burst down. It just... All about making sure that Shuna actually gets the crystal eyes. So Navia doesn't steal that electro with her burst, right? Okay. Thank you. What are these? What's there? Oh, since we did that quest, right, we get some artifact juices, some experience, some weapon, and a single rainbow fate. Okay. Unfinished Trouble Chronicles, but we can't even do those yet. Can't even do those yet. Because we can't do that until we beat this... Fourth Archon Quest, right. Okay. And there we are. Good for energy here. So good for energy here. And nobody died there. Oh, you didn't even get hit by the meteor? That's ridiculous. Okay, and 
Take it. Thank you. And good damage. One, two, three. One. Oh, well, it's a single target. The main thing is, if it's AoE, it's one, two, three, dash. If it's single target, it's all four hits. And then dash. And up. Uh, come on. Let's actually hit the foot just for fun. I. Right. Never mind. There. Okay. That was annoying. I, okay, shoot, shoot. I, ruined graders are tough, honestly. At least we have a lot of time here. Thanks. There we go. Now we can go in and do that. Thanks. And I... Oh, right. You don't have that going on anyway. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you mean it. Still doing fine even with this stupid club. Alright, final four. This is good, since we've got so much healing. And shields. Let's go for it. Double fav is real nice for this team. The bursts aren't all coming back, but it's mostly because we're killing everything too fast. Okay. And there we go. Yimkasaurs and I... Well, we can toss this down anyway. Thanks, and go ahead, and like that, and then we come out, and we, oh, well, you need other stuff, that's okay. We can still make this work, and there we go, cool. Yeah, because surely the dolls not actually having a chance to do anything. Hello. Actually, not actually have a chance to reduce particles means a lot there. Okay, cool. Some time issues, but it shouldn't be a huge problem, and just shoot a second time. Okay. And let's keep going. Which on which side? Yeah, second half is definitely the single target one again. Yeah. It's floor nine, which is literally skippable now because it is that fast anyway. Okay. Benny boy. First half, then Noel. Zhongli, Goro, Chiori. I like this stripes we had going on when I saw Bennett before Navia. Now it's all messed up again. Oh well. Okay, ER ER is good. ER is real good. Especially since Noah literally does not produce any particles. I. Uh, it's a good thing I only run her Mono Geo, because outside of Mono Geo, she just does not get her energy back. Okay. Cool, cool. Oh, but... Never mind. Okay. I was gonna say something about not needing Zhongli in the first place because of the way the golems work, but actually... They got... I think they have golems on both sides, so... Okay, and now we got that defense. This is real nice. Real nice. Two, three, and one, two, three, four, one, two. There we go. Cool. The rotations are interesting. Depending on how long you want to sort of keep going. One, two, and. Thank you. Toss that down, and. Thank you, and put in. You hit, and that just killed. Yeah, it. The low attack, the fact that Debate Club isn't even fully leveled doesn't even matter that much, honestly. It's funny. Because the Bennett buff means that <laughs> they die in an instant anyway. No real difference is made. Okay, and it's also nice that the particles mean sure they can get her burst back pretty well too. But... I still do wonder if how much better or worse putting an Albedo instead of Zhongli would have made this team. It is what it is. And there we go. Lots of nice, nice particles. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four, and since that geo resistance, we can do another rotation actually. You've gotten that done. And there we are. Basically, as soon as some of that pops up, we're good to go, and... Thank you, I... Yep, and she's still got some time on her burst, because it doesn't... The timing doesn't even deplete while she's off-field. 
That's how great she is. And... Right, we got it. Go in. That probably would have been better off all then. That's okay. And... Couldn't even put that down, but whatever. I shoot and one. Shoot. Again. Well, alright. Thanks. There we go. That should dodge that big AoE anyway. Cool. Funnel. Chamber for this floor. Cool. That... Well, we want defense. This won't do much, but whatever. Okay. Alright. The energy from Zhongli is probably necessary anyway, just because... Uh, oh. Noelle being so energy hungry. No at particle gen on her own. But... I will say... With Ito, maybe I'd put Albedo in anyway. Because at that point... No shield in the first place anyway. Much to think about. And there we go, and hit. Thank you. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there we go. Cooldowns have come around, so that's a good time to do that rotation. It isn't really strict in any kind of way at all. You just do whatever. And not dead yet, but there we go. Nice. The shield kill, I think. Does do a little bit of defense damage. And we got Spirit Source, that's fun, but that is not... We don't care about that. Just gonna hit you normally. And one, two, and there we go. Hit, and that, yeah, that's all. Ah, she did a funny umbrella attack. Okay, and this time, Avatars of Lava... Which one? <sighs> crystallize, crystallize. Obviously, whenever you're getting crystallized, we put in Navia. That's it's also because you'd get electro charges on that too. Automatically. Keep the mono team on this side. True mono team. And then Goro. Chiori. Set of course we got. Well, also, just the fact that Navia doesn't have a shield makes, well, anything other than Crystal is makes Stupid Spun Snacks a bit harder to keep up anyway. Still her best choice, but the big club isn't horrible, especially since the Bennett field applies Pyro and allows her to use part of its buffs. The big club is just worse Serpent Spun for people who can't dodge. It not really is the whole point of it. Okay, and Fish will actually be able to make use of the Eomon Stringless this way too, which is nice. By progging some Electro Charges on those <sighs> Hydro Phantasms. Alright. Yeah, why not? Well, it... Maybe healing F? Ah, eh, whatever. I'll live. Oh, but defending these is going to be interesting. I didn't even notice. I didn't even look at the goal. Okay. It's interesting that they've never had defense on 412. It's always been a DPS check. Which is probably good because of how frustrating it would get, but still. Okay. Yeah, it's nasty. And hit. There we go. Cool. These are grouped. Good and grouped. And once that shows, we hit. And good damage. Okay. And oh, but I didn't. I didn't actually put that down. Whatever. One, two, three, four. So good. Okay. And you are going to be Avatar of Lava. But, oh, right. We can't even make that work. Whatever. And hit I. Okay, we can't even hit you. Hit it here. And there we are. Perpetual Pyro is certainly an idea. And hit. One, two, three. And can I shoot? Thanks. One, two, three. One, two. And thank you. Toss that down, and why not do it like this, I guess? Shoot. One, two, three, four, five. Without a Bennett buff, I am kind of feeling the fact that I'm using the Bay Club instead of Serpent Spawn. Especially since Navia, Navi is good with Spine, because she doesn't get a lot of damage bonus, really. Well, she went out, and she does get a damage bonus from Center City, but normally she's not getting a lot of damage bonus, just attack buffs of various sorts. Well... Whatever. Skill damage, good. Get this up. Thank you. 
30 seconds of this each time. Hmm. Okay. And, and get our fab buff. Cool. Oh! Couple, yeah. That's it. Thank you, and this. That's good. And just like that, and we. Oh, but we don't have. Oh, we don't have our burst up right now. Well, that's. It won't kill me. Hmm, maybe it will. I don't know. No, but she can be annoying. And I. Oh, yeah, without the constant particle gen, this is certainly something. I. Okay. So you got the Geo bonus from that, but battering everyone like this is certainly something. Okay, and I, well, we can do that, and thank you. Right, we have to use the burst before that, well, whatever. And one, two, three, four, but sometimes you can get both damage, which is real nice. And one, two, three, four, well, let's just actually start with a big meteor, and I, oh, right, because we killed you. Separately, because I'm stupid. I oh, okay. Thank you, and that- that didn't even hit! What?! Okay, whatever. That was ridiculous. Okay. And... There we got our funny dogs. And there we go. Cool. Take that down, and just see how well this is going to work. Official right here, and... Navia, Navia, Navia. Okay, the ordering on this is a little annoying. Two, three, and... Well, we can kind of make that work, I guess. And I still need to put one of those down so she and I can go in and crystallize. Okay, cool. Hmm, this... It's a little tougher. Thank you, and I... Official needs to put this down. Not enough particles, which is annoying. One, two, three, and... I, one, two, and... Can I... Shoot! And, well, that could've hit you. Whatever. Thanks, I guess. And, can I crystallize that? Thank you. And, you got that back. Good. Hmm. Thanks. Well, I... Wrong timing. Whatever. Thank you. Shoot. One, two, three. There we go. Who is hitting the other mech? Is it just the cannonballs? Weird. Alright. And... We're not gonna be under 50, though. Yes, we have to stick to burst damage. That might help out Chiori, hopefully. Okay. Depends on how much energy we can get. Okay. Team's not perfect. It's got its weaknesses. Like energy. It's definitely its weakness. And... Okay. It's a battery Goro, at least. Thank you, and I... Well, never mind. That didn't quite work. Well, okay. We can at least try this. Rough start, but whatever. And Goro. Thank you, and thanks. Get to boost that defense. One, two, three, four, and nice. We're all the way over there, I hate you. One, two, three, four, and one. Thank you, and uh, well, we got hit. I was not expecting that. Okay. And put that down, and can we hit, and no, that completely missed. Okay. Well, shouldn't matter too much. Alright, let's go for it. And can I... We need to... And then we go in and charge... Can I... That... How did I mess that up? What? Huh? Never mind. I... Okay. Stupid. Thank you. And we... She went in and crystallized. At least one of them. Whatever. I... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Thank you. And... Gimme, gimme, gimme. And... Hit and... Official. Thank you. Now you hit both. One, two, three. One, two. I... Bad day to be a Chiori, I guess. It's sad, really. You know? And I... Thanks. Crystallize. We can just keep tanking this. I guess that is a nice thing. You know... Not a great argument for Debate Club, but... Honestly, if I have to give someone Spine and someone Debate Club, Navi can manage with Debate Club. It's not great, but it's not terrible, terrible. It's one of the few Kramors Kramor with Crit. Kramors? Kramor? I should be killed. Yeah, but I... I wonder how... 
If Albedo would be good here. Because I... They don't even... Uh, this shield's good for comfort. Kramor. I feel vaguely offensive. As in, not offended, I feel offensive. Okay. Because if I really wanted to, I could try... Do I say farewell to Zhongui for this floor? I think I do. Just, we, we go full offense and... Chori, and we need to put Albedo on first so she can get both dolls, but we wouldn't have to worry about that. You wish I did. Wouldn't have to wor worry about particles, really. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not the way we were doing things, but whatever. It's more damage instead of more defense, so... I don't feel like it's cheating. No, like it's... Eh, whatever. Okay. And more damage. More damage is fun. Final four is all damage and dodging, so... Okay, we'll keep... Normals. Good for... Noel. Okay. This... No, but Albedo never loses his defense sword anyway, so... Okay. Let's make this happen. Gotta wait for those spine stacks, though. She's already got her own shield. Yeah. And the be the best defense is killing them. And thank you, I... Thank you, I... Where are you? One, two... Why are you moving out of the way of the... You moved out of the way of the flower? I hate you. That... That's such a stupid cheat. Oh my goodness. Actually die. Okay. Really? The best defense is a good offense is a Roman quote. That's from Rome. You're literally Italian. <sighs> okay. Well, Albedo actually proccing that is important for the team. Come on. I just move out move it out move it out of way or something, please. And now you should do stuff here or something. I, please, I, okay, come on. If you're gonna go back and forth, there we go. Should be in range of Albedo's funny flower now. I, what? Why the hell do you have to move around so much? I just, I know you're a stupid bird, but that's just uncalled for. Okay, I, come on. Come on, I, okay, well, please, please. Can I hit that? One, two. Oh, it needs to be elemental. That's right. I, I hate this. I hate this so much. And I, is this gone or is that gone? That no, it's not gone. But I. Oh, really? This is so dumb. Come on. I, okay, thanks. And I, really again? Whatever. One, two, three, four. You already. I missed the window entirely. I just. This is not a. Uh, this is an okay team. I just hate this stupid bird. Stupid bird that I hate. Stupid bird that I hate. Okay, and we'll put this down here, and then we can try that. And can I... Thank you, and try to get at least some of that back. And not even condense that correctly, whatever. Okay. Come on. And can we try that out? Well, actually, we can use the window and... Why are you... Why are they so mobile for no reason? That's the worst part of this fight. Just... Maybe Zhongli is the way then. Honestly. Maybe. Okay, and we can put you down. And you gotta clear that next chamber really, really fast now. Okay. And one, two, three, four, one. Okay. Hmm. Alright. 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 Okay. I do not know whether this is a winning strategy. Then. Uh, the problem is probably probably that's not going to be what I do here. I uh, really, really, I hate. Just stop, stop that. Whatever. Okay. And can I, to uh, this, it's just stupid constipated beasts are just not working. It's not cooperating. Thanks. And we... You're over there, and... Yeah... There are problems here. Okay. And... Can I... 
Come on, give me some of that, I guess. Thank you. And that's what people call them, the constipated beasts. Because they hate them and they're stupid. Like, nobody, nobody likes them. And... I, uh, as in, you're a constipated beast, I guess. I, I need a different team for this. I wonder what a good team for this would be. Huh, okay. Consecrated beast. Honest to goodness. Screw it, I just use the all item team. Sure, he doesn't have... Isn't gonna have Wolf Fang anymore, so we're not gonna use Shiori, but... That... It was a good try. But sometimes we have to go back to... Not basics, but just... Go back to what's broken. And I... Shionen on... I guess I could use Shionen on the other side by... The main thing is Navi is basically the way to fight Praetorian Golem. <sighs> Navi is shooing in is an interesting idea, but Albedo's actually got more Geo app. Honestly, I'm going to use the really ridiculous team. The team that's just almost undoubtedly the best thing in the game right now. Except, I don't know, I guess C6 Ruthesley with C6... Shenha or something. Okay. Which is... New V Fury team updated. And the other side, I guess we'll just give Navi a spine back. That's fine. That's spine. This is just the normal team I use with her. That's okay. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm not the one who disputes that. I'm not the one disputing that. So it was fun to try- I keep mixing up talking stick into the club. We can give you back the sword that's actually half decent. Okay. There we go. Okay. Alright, alright. Let's just see how well... Well this goes here. Yeah, charge attack damage- well, you got a lot of damage bonus just by doing new yet anyway. Now this team does not need any kind of- there are no movement problems on this team. And we- oh well, I didn't even actually shred that correctly, whatever. And... Uh, okay, cool. And... Alright. Thank you. Six, seven, eight, and just- yeah, see? See how ridiculous that is? It's just ridiculous. Thanks, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this... It's so good. It's so good. And... Swirl. Got that back this time, and... Swirl that. Now we... Do we get this? I... Okay, whatever. Thank you. And... Hit, and I, well, whatever. I... Wasted some of those, clearly. Not good. And we... Thank you. Now we... Hit that and wait, what? Never mind. Uh, okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That malfunctioned a bit. Okay. Hmm. And one, two. We need to try one more time then. Luckily, this will also. That won't give the particles back because the E itself kill. The lack of interruption resistance is definitely Nuviet's weakness. That's true. Yeah, C1 bet. C1 bait for sure. Okay. Non characters get a lot of stuff out of cons, but it's actually usually higher level cons, which is interesting. Okay, and we just like that, and now we can try this again, I guess. So none of you are getting anything out of that defense buff, but that's whatever, I guess. Come on, come on, and we shoot. I this is a silly team. It's not working perfectly, but it's okay enough for our purposes here, and Oh, energy issues. That's always a great thing. Thank you, and... To... I... Uh, Breacher peepees. I hate you so much. And I... Well, I... Alright. Can I... Thank you. At least we can get some energy back for... We're not. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, I... 
Ah, annoying, annoying. Gotta get another back? Stupid. You gotta batter yourself a bit more. Yeah, okay. Now, the Navia team is maybe one of the less effective parts of this whole shebang. That's okay, I guess. Thanks. One, two, three, four, five. I Something needs to be done about the energy situation on this team. Not sure what. Okay, and uh, Yeah. It's just really, really energy stingy. I don't know what it is. But it's just the enemies they put in this time, I guess. I... I... A team that doesn't need energy and works for... I guess I just have to use the Arlequino team. Okay. Just need a second real quick. Trying to cut it close, but I missed my duel and go time. It's okay. But okay, so Arla team. Just the fact that I need a real meta. To be fair, maybe if I use Night Soul, that could be okay, but Arla team breaks Legatus Golem. It's the best thing I have against Legatus Golem, I guess, because the team doesn't really need bursts. It'd be even better if I actually had a Golden Troop set for Yai instead of the Thunder. Soother set, which doesn't have perfect uptime here. Yeah, well, I I was trying to postpone. I was trying to finish stream and then do the Duolingo like I usually do. But I just... Abyss took longer than expected. Okay, you got Fab. Everyone should have what they need. We're still using Fischl. That's good, I guess. For people who care about that kind of thing. But... They have been ruthless about that meta. Absolutely ruthless. Yeah. Gonna use Noel for the... F that Noel team for the first couple of chambers was nice, but... Oh, good things can't last forever, I guess. Their silliness can't last forever. Shuen and being able to help with energy here was nice, too. That's undeniably true. Thank you, and we'll get this here. And another one, and I... Oh, well, whatever. Thank you. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just gotta keep kiting you. Thank you. And oh well, vaporize, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one more on the silly scorpion. Thank you. And just like that's okay. And well, one, two. And so that's just like that. But oh well, didn't quite have enough particles, but that'll. Be alright, I suppose, and I... Thank you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we will cause this again. And I... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I... Okay. But even without the little bonus, the red shred from getting their energy block, we're still just destroying them. That's how good that team is. It's ridiculous. Thank you, and... Like that, I... Right, I do have Shiverse's Constellation, so I could have done that in a slightly different way, but... What is up with these guys being so... Resilient? That's what's crazy here. Whatever. Either way, we've got good damage. It shouldn't be a huge problem. This team is not energy on me. Okay. One, two, three, four, and I... It's about that overload, and it's just too far away. Whatever. Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I, well, that's damage. Whatever. Thank you, and just like that, I, one, oh, okay, two, three, and official down, and hit, and then we get two hits like that, and that also should have gotten rid of their funny new Lucia, too. One, two, three, four, 
One, two, three, four. One, two, and there we are. People care about that kind of thing, like me, and... And hit, and one, two. It's the second shot, just to be funny. Three, four, and one, two, what? Okay, one, two, three, four, and... Got more of the golems. Okay, whatever. Thank you. Luckily, well, they're sitting ducks once you get rid of it. Geo Aura and I. Uh, oh, and also, that's right! Sabros just actually deals explosive damage, too. Right. That's part of why this team is so good at running it. Thank you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, well, alright. Thanks. And one, two, three, and die. Why not that? And shoot, shoot, and. Cool. At that? It caught it close, even with meta teams where one even had the preferred weapon, too. Well, it blunt damage is not a commonly important mechanic. We don't sprint a lot, so healing effect in this should actually be a good option here. Thank you. Ah, oh, we need one particle. Thank you. And crystallize. Thank you. And swirl. Swirl again. And it's time for you to do your thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we do that, and now we can swirl with you and go back to more newbie at stuff. Just gotta keep cutting them, it's not a problem at all. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Never mind. I guess it is kind of a problem. Okay. Oh, that might be bad for energy though. Okay. Thank you, I let's Okay. And another bit, and let's just go for this. Good stuff. At least Purina has her burst back, which is the important thing. Alright, and... Alright, Enhancer Mac. I forgot this is how you work. Right, I... Well, I should be shooting some other things, I guess, but that also breaks things quickly. Four, and one, two, I... Right... And hit one, two, and hit. Now this is not actually a bad way to do this anyway. And two, and and I uh, right. We need to put this down and shoot. Get that back, and then we can pull that out. Thank you. I uh, okay. I uh, need to dodge that. And I uh, thank you. Two, three. Overload is actually really good. Just because of the Geo Shields. I find it interesting how they actually made it useful for something. And one, two, three, and official down again. And uh, okay, shoot, and okay, just like that. And blast. Thank you, and thanks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, and back in. Yeah, again, and official again as well. Thank you, and energy is more of a problem here than I'd like, and I, okay, whatever. I cannot, oh, okay, interesting, and we can get kind of these, yep, combine the overload with the plunge. That's nice. There we go, and we'll put the guy back down, and thank you. We don't really need the burst there, and that would probably set me up better for next bottle chamber, which is going to be a doozy, presumably. Presuma doozably. And she still got hit. wonder if she'll actually take any damage. No, she didn't. Good. Okay. Normal charge attack. Uh, defense down, attack up. I. But everyone's using charge attack damage. Hmm, okay. And this should not be too bad. It's going to be mostly about that bag of the golem then. Okay, and let's... So this, yeah, this should not be any problem at all. People were talking about how actually, in this abyss, the first two chambers have been the worst part, and the final chamber has actually been relatively simple, which, honestly, I can see what they're talking about. This is remarkably reasonable. And I, okay, thank you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that, that was just sad. Okay, last one. Let's make this happen, science. And I, I... Okay, let's not die here. And... Thank you. Shoot, shoot. And there we go. Oh, but that helps her get her energy back, doesn't it? Right, okay. 
One, two, three, four, and up. Okay, I didn't actually dodge that right. What happened? And one, two, three, and... Because I think... Let me just check. One, and... Is that... that the second one does not produce energy. Okay. That, I think. I think there's an energy cooldown. Which, good thing there's no sacrificial lance. For some reason. That would start making less sense. Two, three, and... Down and thanks. Just push that down and one, two, three, four and dodge that correctly. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the shred also helps us bypass a lot of the issues there too. Thank you and more overload. Try not to get hit. And uh, okay, I think this should be still hitting. One and two. All right, let's make this happen. Run up perfectly with Arwen's damage window too. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, if you have a way to break that shield somehow. That final chamber is the easiest in them all by a long shot. Okay. Honestly, the lack of energy was one of the worst things. Well, that's that's abyss. I'm gonna go claim these rewards real quick and see if the dog peed on the floor in my absence or something. So now we got. Got a good amount of Prima Gems, almost enough for 180 rolls, which literally just guarantees one more roll and I can just guarantee Chaska no matter what. Yeah, it, there were some instances of that other times, but that extent of the first two chambers being the hardest, it's been a while since it felt that way. Last time I had to do something, it was that way, I had to figure out a really weird... Venti, Nahida, official Cutching, Aggravate team. That was a while ago. That would have been about a year and a half ago at this point. Well, either way. I guess. I guess we're just chilling. So, tomorrow, see you in about 12 hours. And we'll do the final Not One Arkham quest and get to see Mavuika and Capitano be all kissy-kissy or something. Oh, right, we got an achievement for that quest. Beyond the smoke and mirrors. Complete beyond the smoke and mirrors. Okay. Thank you, yeah, Sound Dragon.